Happy New Year, everybody! Happy 2023! Yeah. And, um, yeah. and welcome to Dysylvania! We are, um, we're here with a fresh new year, fresh, fresh start, new epic adventures and everything you wish for. Um, we are a bunch of uh, lovable geeks um, that uh, every Sunday meet to play Dungeons and Dragons. I am uh, Count Bear, your oh, DM man. for Iceras. The Iceras. realm um, in which people thought that uh, building an entire city within a single uh, superstructure was a grandiose idea, but... Um, yeah, uh, let's uh, stick around, please, to see Actually, this, <laughs> the, how this um, uh, real-time storytelling e experience develops uh, between myself and this uh, lovable uh, friends of mine. Ooh. And uh, let's uh, quickly introduce oh. them. Maybe so we we're, we're we're not friends. We're geeks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> geek friends, friends. don't have geek geeks. Friends. Geeks. <laughs> no, I'm geeks. just kidding. We are friends and geeks. Yes, yes. and Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, Jingle, jingle. Who do we have at the table? Who yeah. are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who is this? Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, I'm Radish, professional programmer, awful voice actor, and I'm going to be playing as Gaba. I am Carla. I forgot what I had to say, so it was something like I'm an art director and I love D&D and D&D and D&D. &D and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I love dragons. And I play Whisper. Carried by a breeze, you know, <laughs> the whole thing. In the chat, please write the whole Cut. name. You might Cut. be boring. Cut the name. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lern. I'm a voice actor and a huge ass nerd. Nerd! <laughs> and I'll be playing Draven. The. Draven to one. do what? The, why? <laughs> Nothing. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Hello. I, hello. Hello. Hello, I'm uh, Jonas and I'm always ready to geek out and uh, pretty crafted games. I play Sildred. Hi, I'm a redhead soulless architect and uh, I really love dungeons. Um, but not dragons. Just, just, dungeons. <laughs> just dungeons. Just dungeons. Just dungeons. Oh my! She and wants so bad to be different from her sister that yeah. she loves just the dungeons. <laughs> dungeon part. Um, and I will be playing Sippy today. Hi. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We don't know yet. <laughs> oh no! Do you want to switch places? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Rooks. I'm an English translator, a drummer, and well, from now on, if you don't like the captions, sorry, I guess. <laughs> I'm doing my best. You're Rooks and you're sorry. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm so Rooks. <laughs> Uh, that's a good villain name, Sorox. Sorox. I was disagreeing with puns. I was yeah. Sorox changed. Um, <laughs> quick, um, a few announcements before we jump into the game tonight. Uh, with uh, Mr. Lair. Hi! Once again, thank you to our sponsor at Zido for providing us with the audio equipment and making us sound really good there below. Uh, yeah, thank you for the opportunity to sound this good and to... <laughs> Looking at the sky! Looking at the sky like, oh my god, what was the text again? Oh, let me check! Oh yeah, they have 15 years of experience <laughs> in audio gear <coughs> and other equipment that help our emerging streams such as ourselves, streams. such as ourselves, and uh, DJs, and DJs, and, and emerging streamers like and businesses. professional businesses. Exactly. This is a professional ad read. If you don't see that, <laughs> live audio, <isn't> live <laughs> ad read. Um, he does better. Yeah, at check them at zidoshop.ro <laughs> for the greatest experience you'll ever have with audio equipment. And don't forget to say hi. Hello. From Dysonania. Hello. And check it down. I will be fired next week, so <laughs> this is the link. I am not gonna die. It's okay. If you know somebody that looks but like that. Count Ben, the bone, it's in your court. <laughs> and it's a fireball. Who bit to your nuts? And just like last time, a uh, special shout out to Sir Landscape. Uh, Serenescape. Serenescape. It's actually Serenescape. Yeah. Uh, special shout out to Serenescape for the amazing atmosphere. <laughs> Check them out at uh, serenescape.com and boost up your gaming sound to epic levels. You can hear the epic levels. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Zido cool. and Serenescape. And um, let's not waste any more time mm. because we have some epic adventures to dive in to tonight's game of. Iceras. Iceras.
Happy New Year! 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 And uh, we see this uh, newly formed uh, group of um, various interesting individuals that uh, were, um, <coughs> or they gathered in Bloom Sand Forest, just near uh, the holy city of Gazia, where uh, they've um, dealt with the matter of a missing sister Leandra. And um, then um, going into Gazia to turn in the bounty and uh, uh, do some other uh, things they had uh, planned over there. On the road, um, we, uh, Whisper had quite an interesting encounter with an Etaru, this mystical, very rare uh, creature that uh, it's sort of a messenger and a holy uh, being of Amantotl, the god, uh, the nature hound, uh, god of nature. And um, also, um, upon uh, arrival in the Gazia, um, they've uh, left um, Xylo at the Temple of Virtue to hold the mourning ceremony for uh, Sister Leandra, which uh, took uh, 24 hours at least. 48. And, uh, 48, yeah, correct. <laughs> and um, then um, they've all retreated to the Ye Old Steed pub, where uh, they've started having drinks, unwind a little bit, and um, as they were discussing very late into... Forgot fermented goat milk. Yeah. And yeah. fermented goat milk. That was the important meal of the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and um, as they were discussing, as uh, the um, hour um, was, uh, was at uh, midnight, uh, Goba got a uh, message uh, from Krepak that um, he, uh, he should uh, come outside so uh, to meet him, her, it, in order to discuss some very important matters. And uh, as soon as you went outside the tavern uh, into this uh, very clear night sky, for a brief moment, all of the stars seemed to have sparkled at the same time as you saw this uh, figure uh, with um, a bit more white palish skin, a uh, female with long black hair and a mantle that seemed to almost uh, resemble that of the stars above. And as she turned towards you, she said, uh, Goba, we need to talk. I have a very interesting um, uh, tale to tell. And uh, this is where we left off. And we'll start with um, this uh, lady that um, says to you, um, dear child of the stars, I come to you with a very uh, with a tale of tragedy and treachery. Um, you see, a long, long time ago, uh, there was one other Apotheon that lived with us up on top of Aithea. Uh, a very loved and beautiful lady, full of grace and wonder, who put the moon, Cirilla, up in the sky and made her shine, her warm and gentle rays upon the realm. But she was found to have uh, secret dark dealings with the forces of evil out there. And uh, for that, she was banished out of this realm into the far depths of the uh, cosmic, uh, of the great cosmic wheel into a demiplane prison of her own. Her name is Lissim, and she is my sister. Lissim? Lissim. L-I-S-I-M, Lissim. Lissim. Listen to me, babe. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. And um, as she just takes uh, another step towards you, um, now... Take a step back and look like very, like, in shock. Now, child, it's, it's alright. You know what I think? 
I think, Xylo, that I don't know how you got the voice of Krepak down right, but I see that you have this guy self cast on you. Uh, is this revenge for me posing as a sister of Toto or whatever you call that god? Toto. <laughs> oh no, uh, 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 you don't, you're not there. <laughs> um, she is. This uh, isn't funny. She um, stays for a bit, and um, it's fine. This is not no illusion. I assure you. If you need a demonstration of my powers. I can oh, show you, you know but... what, Silo? I can very easily demonstrate. If I touch your hand or try to grab onto your clothes, then the illusion will not work. That's how this guy itself works. So well, come, come a bit closer, and I want to grab the 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 uh, clothes, the uh, ornament uh, of uh, <laughs> this thing. <laughs> I mean, at this point. Um, let go about that, you. <laughs> Not in a menacing way. Yeah, yeah. Just like fair, I, I'm a fair. bit to be very sure of myself why I do that. Fair. But at this point, she will uh, just a little bit uh, move to the side. And uh, this time, it will speak in, uh, in your head the same voice that you're accustomed to, saying that, no, what you are seeing, it's the real me. And uh, please don't touch my clothes. When, when I hear you that peasant. in my head, <laughs> <laughs> present. I, I just freeze. It, it's all right. I mean, um, it's not usual for us, uh, the living gods, uh, show ourselves uh, on this plane. But I come to you because you need to listen, child. Uh, what I, uh, uh, what I ask for you, it's something of great importance, because. Um, um, what I've sensed from your companion, the Leonin one, was the same aura of powers that um, resembled that of my sister, and I do not know why. Um, while I do long to see her again, I'm sure the rest of the Pantheon won't see it as such. And um, if she somehow manages to escape her prison and return to uh, Iseras, then there might be complications that um, might affect all of the land. GM, I have a question. Seeing how I may creep and I'm outside. We'll get to okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, as such, I have an urgent task for you, Goba. Um, just this will involve secrecy and uh, sort of uh, concealment but uh, please do keep an eye out on the Leonin and uh, try to find out if he has any connections to Lissim or not um, uncover maybe source of his powers anything but um, know that um, I'll always keep a constant vigilance on, uh, on you on your journey and uh, with time I'll grant you even more powers if you do so and uh, so that you may uh, spread the good word of Krapak as she smiles and smirks a little bit I, 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 I gotta say you look very different from the cave paintings <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I may, Krepak, uh, sir, madam, um, whatever, uh, you actually look like uh, one of those uh, gods that are painted in the hallway, you know, where I used to put posters of you. But I, I didn't imagine you... Oh, are you hidden in their pantheon, Krepak? Uh, sorry, can you... Are, are you hidden in their pantheon? Oh, are you a secret god? You know, gods have their mysteries, and uh, if they wish so, they can take any appearance they want. And um, But I'll leave it up to you to make that judgment. I am on, confused. Uh, <laughs> on uh, what my identity is. Oh, uh, I have some questions. Uh, Why? Uh, may I? Uh, she was uh, already like almost uh, prepared to take her uh, cloak and do something, but uh, she's like, "What is it?" 
Is, is you the reason why all of the spells are sparkly and they're not like rocks and sticks and what do I imagine when I'm casting things? Um, but of course, I, uh, <laughs> if, um, if you remember first time when uh, you heard my voice, because I do remember you were sitting there by the lake quite sad. Why the lake? Remember. Quite Roy. sad Roy. on uh, your journey, and you looked up to the stars, making a wish to become stronger. And I was there to listen, and I will keep on doing so. Praise ye, mighty Krepak! <laughs> what what name are you going on in, by in this pantheon where it's hidden? I mean, I'll be honest with you. Um, I am Erix. Erix. The mother of night, but or, you, you mean night goblins? <laughs> Take it as you wish, little one. But uh, um, I do somehow enjoy this uh, thing you have. So um, I'll let you decide on how you want to continue with this, <laughs> and we'll speak more soon. Maybe I'll tell you even more about the other guy. As uh, she then takes uh, the cloak and uh, stand at attention like this, and um, as as she takes it and does the swirly thing around her, she vanishes. As she merges somehow with the dark and night sky and above. Your will be done, Krepak. Your will will be done. Now, <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> you who are outside the snooping and, yeah, and then okay. searching for um, the most breakable you, house. Yeah, uh, you weren't, you didn't go quite far in. So probably looking behind, you would have seen uh, Goba. But um, it seemed to you like you looked and he was just staring into nothing else. You didn't see a figure. Mm. Only this side. Okay, he's not the chosen of Goba. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I keep telling yeah, you guys, yeah. but no. I you got to believe. It's reverse. You got to believe it to see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, what was it that fermented goat meal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you outside. Can um, I look at the houses and the okay, inspect them it? on uh, weaknesses and whatnot. Uh, it will be an investigation check with, with disadvantage. disadvantage. How bad can it be? Plus one. Oh, we natural 20 and 12. So Ooh, 13. 13. It's good, it's man. Really good. <laughs> it's good. Unusually good. Yeah. yeah. I touched your dices. Yeah. I touched um, your dices too. So. <laughs> <laughs> you go around the um, farm um, stead the place of the, of the city. And uh, in here... Um, yeah, like you are now currently sort of next to the central main square of the um, farmlands, but uh, you need to go probably for like 10, 15 more minutes further out uh, when you start seeing the lower, lower tier quality sort of uh, dwellings. And um, probably, uh, I mean, at some point you do see one that has uh, a uh, more... Um, sort of loose um, wooden door with uh, some uh, wooden uh, shutters at the um, windows which they don't look uh, that impressive compared to the rest so probably if you were to use a bit of force or some lock picking stuff you could easily break how it. late is it like it's past midnight so it's okay. 12 I'll try the door the one uh, the wooden shutter oh at uh, the windows the windows yeah, um, they are locked, but they, they still give a little bit. It seems like there is just a little bit of a, um, not hinge, it's uh, the lock mechanism, the thingy. Oh, the it's, uh, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, they have the lock sort of yeah. on the... Bolt, uh, not bolt, right? Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's just uh, one that uh, gives a little bit, it's a bit rusty, so... Before I do any, anything stupid, uh, does it seem that is anyone inside? Like a uh, perception check. Oh, with disadvantage? Yes. Okay. Uh, 19 and like 5. So, uh, 11. Um, 11. Doing. You know what? 
Oh, if they see me. <laughs> no. Um, I am Draven. Okay, you... Um, he comes to suck the blood. Yeah, I come to suck the <laughs> blood. <laughs> you listen and My name it, is seems, it seems quiet. Then I'll get back to the tavern. Deadbolt. Yeah? I'll go back to the tavern. That's one. Because <laughs> it might be empty. So. Or latch. Yeah. <laughs> so you return then. Okay. So. Then, the rest of you, uh, there at the tavern actually, uh, because what happened is just that um, it's, uh, it was um, midnight, you were having this discussion on uh, the topic of gods (laughs) existing or not, and um, you just uh, noticed Goba at some point just rushing out of the building, but uh, the rest of you inside? I think the fermented goat meal didn't agree with his tummy. (laughs) What do you mean? I mean he's uh, vividly pooping right now. <coughs> this is the interesting. Should we partake on the food? Especially on the mustard here, or what, what is it? <laughs> we have mustard on our plate, or, or what? It's something <laughs> yellow. What is it yellow? If I, if I remember correctly, you went um, to cook bar? yourself some stuff, right? Ah, yeah. Biscuits. Some biscuits. Oh, that's what I'm doing. But um, yeah, sure. Biscuits. Let's partake on the biscuits. Yay. Mm, is this the food? This is yes. delightful. But you've eaten already food baked by me. Okay. CP. <laughs> <laughs> the food of the CP does not resemble the food of the tavern, nor the food that children gave me, nor the not. Uh, the acorn that I sucked upon. So now I understand the nutrition is different. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Should we take some more? Can I and um, they start <laughs> the bartender, the uh, black uh, furred, skinny, middle aged Leonin. Uh, he's like, uh, um, if you would like some more um, meals, I, we could provide you the, the specialty of the house, the, um, the fireside the cajun pasta. But uh, yes. yes, please, so, that would be the most enjoyable. Yeah, yes, the seco. And um, thank you, Mister the Leone. Seco? Uh, these are not with me. Uh-huh. What is the seco? It means in a second. <laughs> Okay. Oh, a second is a good. minute in total. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if anything, like food is prepared, is brought, uh, but you return, you return. Wait, when but, I return, okay. I have a bit to do. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure. So, uh, Gaba just uh, en- enters back to the door, like with eye- wide eyes. And I just. Are you done with the vividly pooping? Did you have the diarrhea? I just go like straight to my staff, I get it, and I drag it like on the floor, like towards the bartender, where I write something on a piece of paper, I put it on the uh, uh, on counter. The bar- counter. Uh, it, it says uh, five fermented gold milk, and I also pay for it. How much was it? Yeah, um, sure, like f- five of them, it's one silver. Okay, I, I'll, I'll pay it. And this loads. Uh, okay, I, mm-hmm. I do that. Then I take the ferment goat milk and I go to one of the empty tables and I start drinking them as I do this. Is this how the pooping looks like? He seems weak. It yes. might have been bad. Exactly. But we might go there to tell him not to drink so much more goat milk. He, we don't want to see this episode all over again. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said you were going to say we must go there and poop ourselves like this. No. Okay. Uh, so I'm go. gonna, no. I'm gonna go towards uh, Goba's table mm-hmm. and maybe sit at uh, his table if he will allow me or something. I am not acknowledging your, you, you going there. I'm going to uh, sit in front of you like this. <laughs> Hello, Goba. There, there, there's nothing else. He said like. He seems like like he's seen a ghost and like really deep in, in thought. So that was that bad of a poop. Goba starts drinking and um, maybe you should stop drinking that. Children, I think they need your help. I can hear it from over here. Well, you know, I, I don't believe it. Krebag is a goblin. As I, I keep drinking from the 
I, I don't think it's right that it's it, it, it's a lady in, in dress dressed in black, you know. I, I not, don't appear to be talking to you. Just uh, one of those uh, cuckoo uh, rants that are monologues. I'm sure when we go at the Altia Mountain, we will see and we will get the money from the bed. If she's woman or dressed in black or whatever you envision here. As you can see, said, I, I finished my first uh, fermented goat milk. I put the side, I started my second. And then I, in a more angry tone, No! Oh, oh, I think someone's messing with me. They're doing it out of spite. I, I, I don't think this this thing is actually Krepak. Oh, I'm being sabotaged. Yes, yes. Drinking. Screw Krepak. Let's not believe in God. <laughs> As I finish my second one, I start with my third one. Oh, oh maybe this this entity has has taken over Krepak and has stolen its voice. Maybe I, 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 if I do its bidding, then it, it will release Krepak. Maybe I, I, I can start bargaining with it as I finish my third drink. <laughs> um, do you have any more topics besides talking about Krepak? It is getting a bit tiring and boring. My, my third, my fourth. Oh, I think that it, it's no use. I, I, I can, can't get Krepak back. All of my life has been a lie. There's no other, <laughs> uh, there's no other purpose to all of this. So I'm going to learn and be like, yeah, yeah, Krepak, Krepak, what else? This is the worst date I ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> I get the final drink. Eh? So, oh, maybe this sanity is actually something. Maybe it's worth more investigating. Maybe, maybe and. Goba falls unconscious from the fermented goat. I will try to catch Goba and the okay. goat milk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would definitely require a dexterity check. Yes, yes. Dexterity. It's a 22. Nice. Yep, definitely. In the same time as he passes, he lets out the, the cup, but you, you both. I saw it coming. And I put it and gently lay his head. <laughs> On my lap, I guess, or something like. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I passed out. Seldrin would come and uh, uh, take him off your hand and get him uh, to our table. Maybe we should get him into the bed. Okay, but I'm getting his uh, unfinished goat milk. Fermented. Nobody is contesting you on that. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so should I stop drinking it? <laughs> you can <laughs> talk from four tables about yeah. this whispered in my breeze. Should I stop drinking it? Maybe. You don't want to have the poops. <laughs> I think this is the too late. Do you even poop? Yeah. Yeah. Mouth. yeah. She, she never she the mouth. Like shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll go towards whisper. And I'll say whispering ha ah, in your ear. <laughs> Would you uh, mind? <laughs> we are going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they left off the of the table and they Where are you go. going? Is this the quickie? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so aha, you got the poops as well. I noticed. I see everything. Um, yes, I got the pooping of the things. Yes. It is the rough and <laughs> they start imitating what they saw Goba like going through the five stages of whatever. Of grief. <laughs> yes, oh I have the Yes. <laughs> they just go. Uh please children, take care of uh, wind. Row against the current. <laughs> if you want. I don't get along well with dogs, but okay. I don't get along with him. <laughs> uh, he just snarls and just goes back to the I look at him like this. Because he also has a close. <coughs> Good uh, doggy. Uh, dog, you wanna come sleep? <laughs> With a <the> cat? <laughs> With a uh, uh, goba here. I'm going to roll, I think, an intelligence because he does not speak common or I don't know. Um, or uh, should they roll something? He understands uh, the language you. Yeah, which chose. is not the same. Yeah, which is not common, yeah. Um, was it a missile? 
Um, but uh, I mean, that would probably be uh, yeah. Either it? either you roll an intelligence uh, check or you roll an animal handling. You wanna roll? Yes, we can, uh, can't we both? Roll? Maybe mm. we know that sure. language. Maybe but, uh, it starts with a P. <laughs> yes, and ends with an Nine. L. <laughs> Sixteen. Yes, it's a uh, thirteen plus stuff. In it's an intelligence. Wow, minus one for twelve. So uh, it's be between yeah, those. Yeah. I would say mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he gets yeah. up. Can I help he you, and you roll with advantage. He gets up yes. and just because I did the. <laughs> Very <laughs> efficient helping there. Oh. You rolled badly. Uh, he gets up and lazily walk towards you and just brush brushes his mane, which is his big mane, against your fur, and he just. Growls silently, then you hear this very heavily <laughs> breath. <laughs> Are you exchanging hairs? <laughs> Salt and pepper? Seems like mm-hmm. it. And, uh, oh. I take, yeah. Uh, so upstairs. you take Oba um, to your rooms. Uh, wind comes after me. Yeah, with uh, wind. Uh, you two go to. Outside. Yeah, but to finish with them and then. Okay, uh, you two. Because they left, so it's just uh, you two left uh, downstairs, and at this point, yeah, the, there was another table that uh, was with um, other folks around, but they've left by now. As well. I imagine so that Shelly takes a long time to eat his food, and I'm gonna keep him company. <laughs> and <laughs> while he was eating, I would be like, Shelly, so tell me a very interesting story from your past. <laughs> Do you want to go on another boring date? <laughs> I don't think oh, it, shots fired. It, it will be worse than what I had before, but sure, let's try. Well, remember how I told you that my uncle gave me this ring? And then he died. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. That was a very rememberable moment. Story. <laughs> story. And, <You> count. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just snuck into it, so he decided to go on adventures with me. That's cute, I yes. think. He used to tell me stories about all the cities I've been through. Well, right now we've we are coming from Karu, and he said he had a pretty good time in there. Actually, he didn't understand the word they said when he arrived, and he he actually thought that people were, call, were calling him Francis, and he thought, well, maybe Francis was some kind of god, but apparently it was their language they were speaking. I don't know anything about that, but sounds memorable. <laughs> <laughs> they said they had a, a pretty thick accent, and the R's were different from can you, ours. Can you imagine not being able to do the R's? Like how you'll be a pirate from Karu. So when he will finish eating, I can't remember how we split rooms. I remember, mm-hmm. I think I was with Gaba in the same room because yes. this two decided to join. I didn't decide. And I was did. decided for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was outside. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you asked Shelly if uh, she, uh, he wants to sleep, sleep with your cousin. The... <laughs> yes. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, you did. So th- I'm guessing Actually, them the too. Actually, the thing was like this. I think uh, they were yeah. supposed to sleep together and then Goba yeah. started asking questions. Can I uh, examine your yeah. items before and check your pockets? And then, yeah. I, and then Whisper said, Okay, it's okay. I will sleep with you. And her. then you said, "Oh, then Gabo, you can sleep with me." And yeah. And you got flustered. <laughs> so then yeah. I argue that there is no other gods. Uh, yeah, no. but at this point, <laughs> like you switched yeah. to room, so, so it's there's one more for you and Chad. So I guess we're gonna sleep together in the same room. 
No, touchy touchy. You are in me. Oh no, I already carry my room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have your room inside the room so you have a room section? <laughs> That would be nice. I think okay, let's do that. I, I want to see. It. <laughs> sure. Hotel owners hate her. Watch how this one turtle <laughs> is yeah. cheating the system. <laughs> and one, this one turtle, yeah, <laughs> tricks. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, all of you go to sleep. You do you guys want to do anything in the uh, the rooms, like talk about? Mm, uh, I'm <laughs> guessing you. I'm not asking stupid questions. I wanted to drink or something. But you, yeah, but, yeah, but that's that why I'm saying because you two had still something to do. Does Bobo attack in his sleep? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's in Goblin. <laughs> of course. The only thing that you understand is that he's like about one third of his words are crepak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> because it sounds the same in Goblin. I like those odds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to crepak. Exactly, yeah. That, that, that's, uh, that's what's going on. Thank you. So, you two, um, so before sleep. We are not alone, right? Now I stopped the line, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did I do the good? Okay. We must talk about one thing. Yes. When you lie. Okay. You have to not be so forthright with it. What do you mean? I mean, okay, tell me a lie. Right now. You are. <laughs> uh, you, you, you want to go to the room not to eat my blood. <laughs> <laughs> Look, right there. You, you have to omit that from your life. So, like, you want to go to the room? To sleep. To sleep. To talk. To talk. To, I don't know, anything else but to drink your blood. So if I say, we go to the room to do anything else but drink the blood? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's another Benjamin. Okay. Like, turn around. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll turn you to okay. whisper. Turn okay, look at me. I'm you. Oh, I'm hey, beautiful look. again. <laughs> I am the whisper. So I don't do like this. This is stupid. You you captured uh, the air. Sorry. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Yes. Yes. I want to lie to you. Yes. So Draven and me uh -huh. will go to the room uh, and to do the sleeping. Ah, uh, to do the sleeping. Yes. yes. Okay. Now you try. I'll turn to myself. Mm -hmm. Draven and me, but I'm tracky, talking to Draven, so this is very strange. Uh, Draven me like and me, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they yeah. talk to the wall now, are going to the room to do the sleeping. Exactly. Not the drinking of the yes. blood. Now can you... Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. B back up. What did you say? Nothing. The, the last word. <laughs> that was the lying. Okay. <laughs> um, um, Okay. Would you... So we stop doing the Benjamin now? Yes. <laughs> they uh, they very fast move and lean against your chest and press their head gently against uh, the, the rim of your collarbone. Mm, should she? They. 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 Uh, <laughs> do they no, no. Press no, no. For the... I mean, depends how close uh, you are, like touchy touchy. I'm touchy touchy, the color bony bone. Touchy touchy, then um, in this case, yeah, roll me a perception check. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's a 200. <laughs> it's a 26. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you would notice that, um, like, uh, Sort of like there's uh, a difference between uh, like his appearance and like where you touch. Like uh, there's either a gap or something like not quite right. Uh, there's sort and also basically the chest, yeah. Yeah. The chest, um, yeah. There seems to be a indentation, but dent. The, yeah. A dent, but the armor doesn't the show cavity. it. Look the dented. Cavity. Yeah. Um, you have a very strange form. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I know. It's you can do the right there. Okay. Thank you. you said not to do the Benjamin. Yeah, but don't do the. You know, <laughs> it's disquieting. I'm. I, I scare very easily. I back to the uh, this, is, this is the. This is the living. When you want to breathe air, you have to sit close to it. You have to be enveloped and surrounded dead by air. Uh, yes. Okay, so I start doing the Benjamin again. Okay. <laughs> they uh, uh, sit at the arm's length <clears throat> distance. Can I? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> so, um, which one? Let's see, maybe the air will... It's not... Uh, <laughs> and I'll... Remove yeah. two points. Yeah. How much damage should... Uh, one point. One point? Oh, uh, no? no, it's no. one point plus a one uh, d4, four. Uh, which I'm guessing you, you rolled it, uh, it? Raven. Uh, because it? um, it's... Uh, a four. As soon as... Uh, no, 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 it's, oh, a it's a free. So, because uh, the thing is, like, he bites in, and uh, compared with last time, um, there is now more and more being absorbed. A little, you know, like, uh, until he's satisfied. But, with. like a good boy, <laughs> I will cast Cure Wounds on you at second level. It's not necessary. No, it's not necessary. Uh, first level. <laughs> it's just Why? Burning two spell slots, just yeah. like that. Uh-huh. Which is a D4. Okay. That sound is the spell slots being wasted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's ten. laughs> Although it's just three points ten. It's okay. I get them back. Um, I'm confused, what is this? Is this the... <laughs> and you see that my <laughs> visage mm -hmm. becomes more happy? Yeah, yeah the mood overall, yeah. like it's... Uh, Oh. Yeah. Well, that's <coughs> me <coughs> feeding. Okay. I I'm I'm happy that I could help. This is what I used to do, like feed people with oxygen. <laughs> Were you like a nurse? <laughs> How does that work? I tried to show you, like I get very close. <laughs> And then, you know, like this swirl of wisps of air starts to, you know, conjure around you. Like you feel enveloped in you know, this this breeze of, of air, but it's more visible. But it, it wasn't that, you know, it was more subtle than this. Oh, then the, this is it, Yeah. Oh. It's, I think it's so my, new, my new form. <laughs> yeah, um, about the Benjamin, so. Yeah. Never, never go so close to people. Because some of them can get scared and attack you. Do you get scared? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I'm, I won't show it. You just pushed me before, but okay. Yeah. Uh, I am the sorry, I will start doing the Benjamin <laughs> for If you want, mm -hmm. you can See, make it a joke mm -hmm. and do it only on uh, Gobba. But when he's not expecting it. I don't want to do it as a joke. But it's a joke. Mm. I don't it's like. Fun. I don't like the joking. Tell me a joke. Joke. From your land. Do you have jokes in your land? I'm from. What land? The wind carried by the wind from the northwest. Are you trying to say my name? Because if no. so, it's very yes. hard. Yeah, I know. So. It's whispered carry by a breeze to okay. the northwest. Don't winds have jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't winds tell jokes between themselves. I know I have heard of a joke before, but we don't have jokes. We just have the living. Okay. I'll <laughs> I can tell I'll you. be right there. When you want to tell me a joke. Okay. Um <laughs> But from the wind. Uh, from a wind's perspective, from a wind perspective. Um, do you know the best joke from a wind's perspective is when you go into a place, it's a small, small place, maybe like a cavity, and you start saying, oh my god, it's so uh, cold here, let's just light up a fire, and they die because they have no more air. <laughs> so, you <basically laughs> fart? No, they consume 
fire consumes all the oxygen. So by trying to keep themselves alive, <laughs> they burn it all and they die. <laughs> 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 I, <have to> <laughs> I wanted to tell you something. Yeah. Have you noticed that the others? <laughs> have you noticed that the others are scared of you? Yeah. I'm not, for the record, I'm not scared of you. <laughs> they won't be scared either in the future. After you stop stabbing yeah. them. And, 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 and probably the the caressing with the blade that you taught me is not very nice. The what? You said that I should. Oh, the, oh, the caressing, yes, 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 yes. You do you realize that Whisper is giving Draven social cues? <laughs> it's bad, <laughs> man, it's really <laughs> bad. <laughs> no, I know. The weirdos in the, the room. <laughs> So you don't like when I do not do the Benjamin? What? Oh no! It's what fine. has happened? What's what's nothing. nothing. It's, like it's fine. It's fine. Fling, fling, fling. It was just a tree in the forest. It's oh. fine. Yeah. Oh. So you do not like <laughs> when I do not do the Benjamin? Yeah. Okay. I'm not, not like. I'm. More busy scared. I'm scared that something might happen to you. I think it's the best. Nothing ever happens to me. I have lived a long and prosperous life. You were born yesterday. <laughs> like this, I mean. Yeah, but before this, I have lived 1,000 years. <laughs> yeah, but you're still young. I think I'm older than you. I think I'm older than your grandparents. Or your grand-grandparents. Or your great-grandparents. But yeah, I'm also young. Yeah. You're like Sippy said. A child. So. No, it was I'm an adult, but my mommy says I'm a child or something like that. I I, I find it hard to remember. Uh, yes. it was, <laughs> do you want to record it? <laughs> yes. I was born a halfling. I identify as a halfling, but my mom tells me I'm just a baby. <laughs> I say that, but not in that voice, because <laughs> I can't. I do not understand. Is this the joke? Yes. Ah. A joke is a haha moment. Do you like... want me to tell you a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Define joke. I was born as a halfling. I identify as a halfling, but my mom calls me Benjamin. I'm just a baby. No, you did the wrong word. Mm. Words wrong. I was trying to be funny. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. So, yeah. Are you? I miss Sibi. She le lets me cuddle with her. Yeah. Too bad. Yeah. I sleep on the floor. <laughs> there are two beds in each oh, room. Oh, I sleep on the bed. <laughs> Still sleep on the floor. I miss my coffin. <laughs> I need to sleep on the floor. No, oh. I close the curtains and I hang before, from the ceiling. <laughs> before going to sleep, I'll take a uh, leather pouch I have on mm -hmm. my belt and I'll put it slightly under the bed. And then I'll jump. What is that? A pouch. With what? To my bed. Something very personal. What? Something very personal. Personal does not exist. I know everything. Apparently, you don't know this so Personal exists. But I can look into it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll trust that you know better than this. They go. And they open it. Okay. <laughs> the new what does she have? Ashes and some dirt. Uh, you have brought the woods. Yes. <laughs> oh fuck! Put it back. This is Thanks. Uh, not what I expected. What did you expect? Something interesting. Like a bench. <laughs> <laughs> a joke. I'll think of one <coughs> to tell you tomorrow, okay? Is this a joke? Like, I expected the joke and I find ashes. Yes. Um, Let's leave it. Or, or, it's a lesson. <laughs> you are the confusing and you, you make real, up You new realize words. that you don't have to look into others' personal things, belongings. But you did not say no. I... <laughs> no, I... 
No means no, but you did not say it. <laughs> and if I was to say no, would you not have done it? Of course. But you would have felt, felt bad for it. Right? I do not understand. If I were to say no, mm -hmm. you would have felt bad. Because you didn't... Ah, the feelings. Yeah, the feelings. Yeah, the <laughs> feelings. The, yeah. I don't know. The new things. The I don't know. Maybe we have to see it. Like for example, now you told me not to, not not to do the Benjamin and not to get so close. But I don't feel so bad. I just feel a bit bad. Is now that... I'm confused. What? <laughs> you have more to learn. Let's go sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. You all um, go to sleep. You have um, very restful uh, sleep. Quite comfortably uh, sleeping in actual beds and not bedrooms. And um, yeah, you do wake up refreshed on a uh, day that it's quite uh, sunny outside, but um, you already um, uh, start uh, hearing the the ruckus of the city as. Uh, um, it seems to be quite a lot of uh, travel back and forth as you quickly glance through the window and uh, it seems like um, folks because uh, uh, you are quite close to the um, central area of uh, this farmlands and uh, in the market square so to say and it seems like uh, a lot of folks are setting up uh, um, not tents what they call the stalls Stalls are very good, and uh, there's a lot of, uh, so to say, traffic of folks bringing mainly uh, harvest supplies. It seems like, like uh, carrying all sorts of uh, vegetables, fruits, and uh, whatnot. But um, yeah, what do you do, guys? Because uh, yeah, I'm guessing you meet then at the downstairs, and uh, what do you do, guys? I have a good morning. Good morning. I hope. Oh. I hope. <laughs> I hope Silo has a good morning as well. Yeah. Half, 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 Is this half, a joke? Morning. No. Okay. It's a morning. No, yeah. no it, was, it, was, it was a joke. Like morning, you know, for the day. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah, it's and so I'm the slowest one. They here. left. Uh, I have a proposition. It was a joke. No, when we <coughs> go to take our money, it would be a good idea for us to pretend that we are believers in whatever god we have in no. the city. No, Silo said, not believing is Silo is here? It doesn't matter. I agree with Whisper. That would make things only worse. But they don't fake, have to know. Fake believing and fake lying about believing is a crime. I'll hide my necklace and I'll pretend to be a believer or of whatever god I'll find on the street of Krebak. We uh, could all oh, believe in Krebak. <laughs> what would you say? We could all believe in Krebak. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, you can't tell how much I would have accepted this yesterday. But uh, I'm having a, an existential crisis from uh, all the goat milk, so. Uh, Let's put a pin in it and go with other gods for now, and then I'll get back to you with an update. Did you find what? a goat god? Oh, oh, I think there was goats, but oh, I'm not sure. Sildren, what do you think? Uh, Goba, if you need to talk with a fellow follower of sorts, I'm here for you. Well, oh. Uh, you know, I'm feeling a bit stuffy from last night. Uh, I might go for a bit of morning exercises. Will you join me in prayer and tr some training? Just to get our blood going a bit. Would you like to do that after we get paid? Well, we can just step outside for a bit as everyone's having breakfast. Uh, you know, we get our, our own power from Krepak and, and such. Uh, it's gonna be a very short five minutes just warm up just like Proving our powers to crap up, you know, okay, we could go together a sparring oh, a Sparring if, if you say oh, I was actually uh, gonna ask for some battle advice from you. You seem like a, a very trained warrior 
I am also a, a very trained warrior, but uh, I admire your technique. And, uh, and I have some questions. Okay then. Polkies talk about breakfast and crepa. Make me realize that I want for breakfast to have karu crepes. Wow. <laughs> 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 Chef! <laughs> Chef! <laughs> we do the eating again? Well, yes, okay, it, it, Don't it, you feel it the is five times a day. First breakfast, second breakfast, Afternoon lunch, lunch, early tea and dinner. And sometimes supper. Sometimes and midnight snacks, also it's seven. <laughs> you do a lot of eating. No, oh, thank you for that brunch. Yes, brunch. Is this the cholesterol? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the dying? Dying? Don't you feel the rumbling in your stomach? No. Don't you feel the rumble in your stomach? I think I made a joke. No. Huh. I did not understand that joke. Exactly. Let's explain to them the meaning of a joke. Draven does not like me to do the bed, not the Benjamin. So you want to do a joke for you? To know, to be I able to know, to tell jokes? Yes. You can say this. When I whisper, I'm the most powerful. Wednesday. <laughs> I do not understand. It blew past her head. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> well, if there's any it's consolation when you start speaking, like people just wait a bit and they blow air out their noses. <laughs> I don't understand again. Which day of the week Whisper enjoys the most? Wednesday. Ah, uh, because it's wind and the uh, Wednesday? Yeah. Ah, uh, it's a play and what? Yeah. Uh -huh. Also, you can ask, what is your favorite color? Blue? Blue, like, blue. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> because I am the blue? Because you blow and stuff, like the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like the joking tree, but I am sorry, you have to live with it. <laughs> Come outside, Goba, let's... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, let's go for some training. So, um, Bye. you have your um, breakfast and you go outside. Um, <coughs> again, a bit crowded as uh, various uh, villagers come in with their harvest. Do we uh, find like a yard or a uh, small space? Um, sure, if you go like 5-10 minutes further out from the town square, um, the um, some um, fields start uh, popping out and the orchards of such, so you could uh, probably go in one of them. It doesn't seem like anyone is in there. Or, yeah. Roy, so uh, how about this, this ti time uh, you show me the ropes next time I'm gonna show you. So I, I was thinking if you can d demonstrate that cool technique where you du duplicated yourself and go a bit into detail uh, what exactly is the prayer you say to crap up when you do that? <laughs> what is your thought process? And Baba just picks up like some, some <laughs> notes to, to, to write it down. I don't pray to crap up. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, who you pray to? I don't. Mm hmm. Inside check. Can I say <laughs> I? Or, uh, uh, sure, uh, sure. Roll an insight. We just roll. No, um, roll. Just roll an insight and. Uh, it's plus one. Oh, it's a dirty 20. Okay. Um, he is telling the truth. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Now, uh, DM. Yes. Is uh, the moon over the horizon? No, no, it's morning. It's dawn. It's, it's over dawn. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, but it can still be. Oh, um, mm, for the purposes of this, I say yes. <laughs> but so just slightly, like it's getting out of view. Um, probably I would keep track of it to know where it is, and I would uh, know where to look and uh, fi easily find it. And uh, I would point towards the moon. Uh, look, Goba. Uh, 
I'm stronger when the moon is uh, is up. Right. Uh, how did you discover this uh, a very peculiar uh, aspect of your powers? Um, it happened to me one time during training. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, I hit my head, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> somehow I still uh, completed the course. But later I found out it was actually, and I point uh, behind you, it's a uh, Sil twin, and he completed the course. Like I, I stopped the lingo behind him. Whoa, uh, you know what? I also got my my powers after I got a, a bang in the noggin, so that makes perfect sense. Hmm. And uh, after that, I have had a rough few months. Oh, that's so sad. Anything of particular religious importance happened in those months. Not religious, but uh, one time I was uh, attacked by uh, bandits. You know, bandits. they came to uh, loot the camp, but mm. I was the only one there. Mm. And uh, then uh, I knew I was going to lose, but uh, Siltwin helped me, and there was another that uh, just stood there, looking... I'm not sure if uh, he... Sildrin. If he was... Uh, uh, if he had the look of superiority on uh, his face, or just uh, no, knew that uh, no further help is needed. Or are you talking about uh, another of those uh, clones of yourself? Yes, but uh, I don't think they're... Uh, uh, they're me. Or do they ever talk? I can't remember. Um, no. In best case, they would try to mimic what uh, you're saying, but no actual sound comes out of it. Uh, no talking. But, uh, you know, they have their own body language, let's say. So, they're not like, like uh, mindless constructs, they appear to be living. Yes. Yes, that's actually Right. So have they ever communicated anything to you? Not directly. But um, I think I understood a few messages very vague ones. What what was these messages saying about? Well, uh Oh, I'm just trying to learn to do the same. They couldn't actually say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> like you know. <laughs> the halo. <laughs> uh, Sil Siltwin uh, um, is the one that actually um, helped me train. And if you want, I suppose he could do the same for you. Mm hmm. Well, uh, I, I think this was enough uh, training for today. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I, I think we're mi missing breakfast. No, no, no. I will uh, <laughs> do what I promised you. 100 so push-ups. I'm, <laughs> I'm grabbing my leg. Oh, well, I'd love to, but I think all of that goat milk just uh, upset my stomach or something. Uh, we, we can definitely uh, postpone it for another time. I, I, I just feel it coming right now. Uh, and as you try to uh, get I, I try very slowly to <laughs> shuffle away. Siltwin will just um, appear in front of you. Uh, well, maybe we, we can show like uh, one move, it can hurt. We'll take it easy, don't worry. Right. <laughs> now, get your stance, get your stuff up, one leg to the back, find your balance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually like trying to follow your instruction and get in yeah, a very yeah. bad stance that I have problems. 
uh, holding myself up because the staff is big compared to Noba. Um, <laughs> you can use that to your advantage, but uh, that may have to be a different lesson. Um, quick question, how long would you uh, intend to keep Goba training? Two minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna figure out this up, right? <laughs> no, because depending on how physical it gets, uh, you might need to roll a con to see if you don't get exhausted. But it's fine. Um, uh, just some parrying. Yeah, okay. So and, uh, some parrying? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you, you see that uh, Goba has absolutely zero, not only he has zero combat training or skill, but he is an anti-talent of that. He would you you would never make a warrior out of Goma, and not uh, and added to that he looks to be like uh, very uh, nauseous and uh, actually having stomach troubles from the drinking night before. Some people just need more training. Roy, it's it's uh, how about we postpone the training and and go and not skip breakfast? You know, you, it's the most important meal of the day. That's what Krepak says. <laughs> so uh, I say this as yeah. I'm just backpedaling okay. myself out of the area we, we're training into. And, um, moonwalking. Yeah, moonwalking. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So um, you return um, and uh, you all have uh, breakfast. But what do you decide to do for the day? While we eat the breakfast, I ask people around the. Uh, I think it's Whisper and Shelly and you are also. I don't yeah. know. No, we're not. Uh, so what? What? Oh, do, yeah. I mean, what um, plans do you have uh, in Gazia while we're here? Besides, you know, getting the dough, the money. Yes. Oh, you want to go shopping? I was thinking we could. Uh, uh, Learn some some of the local culture, uh, like uh, I've seen a. Uh, uh, let's like uh, pick a garden and find out more about it. Uh, I remember one lady that uh, had these uh, stars on her uh, dress and something. Uh, that seems seemed pretty interesting. Ah, oh, you're talking about the erex. Right, the erex. I have learned it yesterday. How is it spelled? Y R I X. R X. What? What this? <laughs> no. Well, I think it's close enough. <laughs> I have no plans, Sibi. I usually don't like making plans. I just go with the flow. Uh, it suits you. <laughs> just go where the wind blows, huh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Where the wind takes you. Easy breezy. Gone with the wind! <laughs> yeah. I will uh, visit Mora uh, either before or after uh, uh, we see a done. Uh, you would like to do that, okay, because we're <coughs> ma making a brainstorm in plans. Or do you want to split the party? <laughs> oh no, not with that look, you don't. <laughs> I like the storm. <laughs> you want to split the party? <laughs> Oh, well, I actually did have Listening plans. Bones. Listening bones. Yes. <laughs> what plans? I have to find a friend of my uncle's to check the magic of the ring. I think it's not working properly. Okay, okay. So, we have checking the magic of the ring. We have checking the Iris God. We have checking Moran and also Moram. Uh, Moram, not modern. I didn't say modern. Oopsie. <laughs> 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 um, and a Dania for short for the money. Mm. Maybe shopping, light shopping, and um, also I was supposed to to see more about. The, I heard a rumor that the Scarlet Oppressor, you know, my nemesis, is here. Maybe in the city. In Gazia, yeah. Can we go and ask that? Around? That would be very stupid of us, but also we have no other plans. So yeah, sure, let's do that. <laughs> but that would be very stupid. I know. You have better plans? Or about we ask the paladins about yeah. the, the threat. Okay. That's a good idea. See, um, we're brainstorming. The scarlet oppressors have a different sign or a symbol. A symbol. Do I know their symbol? Mm. I know their face. And yeah, I'm making up stuff. Yeah. Oh no, it's poop. They have no. this um, this uh, dark this gray uh, blah blah blah. No, uh, dark gray. I forgot the metal armor. 
obsidian. Oh, yeah, black like obsidian and armor. Very but, uh, red scales and flesh. That's, uh, yeah, the Scarlet Oppressor himself. Like, yeah. Um, but um, his, um, like, um, his group of folks and such, uh, the mercenary group he's leading and such, you don't see, the, uh, at least when the attack happened, you didn't see them having some sort of a unified symbol on them or crest. crest yeah. Also, it was pretty dark outside, so. That as well, but yeah. Do no I have know. dark. Ah, oh, I forgot. Yeah. Look over there! Dark times. Oh <laughs> okay, let's so. go. Where to? So we're all going together to all of the locations, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. To Adan. To, to Moran first, in the Temple of Virtue, where also Adan is, I think. Yeah. Why uh, we have to and we can do Moran? your thing, and your thing together. You can ask Moran about... Moran. So. Moran. Oh, I was thinking that oh, I'm going to go to the official temple of uh, this uh, 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 Irix thingy. Um, it's just a one temple, I think. The thing is, so... Um, <coughs> Uh, like there's the main uh, superstructure, huge uh, radiant halls within where the Gazia city proper is, and then um, somewhere half through it splits uh, uh, into the other sides of the because uh, radiant halls and this other uh, uh, annex structure, so to say, are on a um, small rocky island. And um, so uh, you have the radiant holes, and on the left it's the retribution square where the temple of virtue is, and uh, separately it's the shield of retribution headquarters where the mm -hmm. paladins are and mm -hmm. such. And um, to the right, I think uh, Moram told you and he gave you the tour, or at least he would have told you, it's uh, the halls of uh, study. Uh, basically a huge uh, library as well with um, uh, some sort of uh, holy reliquaries and a uh, very like restricted area of such but so uh, the library is restricted uh yeah that like the one there you would find other libraries in the city proper but the one from the halls of study is they have yes. a restricted section like in hogwarts <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, but uh, you, like, because you said you want to meet Moram and such, um, like, in there at the Retribution Square, it's also Temple of Virtue and the headquarters where you would find the done. So, let's get the money first. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Show me the money. You guys are so obsessed with the money and the eating. That's because we have You're profits. still not hungry? That's the only way to get fermented goat milk with no goats. I didn't eat for breakfast. I don't need to. Alright. So, Maybe uh, you'll have constitution saving throw next. Maybe you were just... the saving throw. I don't know. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> head uh, through the radiant halls and then into the retribution square and then um, over there you find this uh, very imposing uh, well not imposing but very uh, large um, almost gothic architecture in, in places um, but with um, some more round uh, towers in the middle uh, the shield of retribution headquarters it's uh, like the rest of the city it has this uh, um, almost uh, marble like uh, s structure with white uh, bricks and all and uh, um, even in this uh, in this building somehow there are bells that ring constantly and uh, you hear them and um, but not like uh, like battle <laughs> like battle uh, bells but more like uh, you know to like yeah chimes chimes and such um, and um, yeah like immediately at the door uh, there are two uh, paladins that um, um, just put their arms out and say um, it's the business <laughs> of mine. Um, I am blue. Right, but uh, uh, what are what is your business? I'm asking. Um, the <coughs> we are here to talk to uh, Dan about our reward and Moram. And Moram. Uh, reward on 
What? For finding Sister Leandra and yeah. getting the Dragonborn oh. tails. Yeah. Oh, all right then. Um, the who has those? We all have them. Oh. No kidding. In this pouch. Yeah, Sylvan all right. is carrying them. Then uh, you may enter. Thank you. And um, uh, yeah, inside this building, it's uh, a nice. Um, uh, again, large hall that uh, um, splits in different rooms, uh, and uh, it has even on the inside uh, a lot of columns and uh, hanged uh, uh, braziers from uh, sides and such, with uh, this uh, multicolored tiled uh, panel floor, and um, like just uh, walking a little bit, uh, immediately um, you do spot uh, Moram who was into discussions uh, with uh, another folks and uh, he turns uh, and oh ah glad to see you folks um i was uh, wondering when uh, you'd show up but um um oh, great come come uh, i will um, introduce you to Adan personally and um you you walk uh, further into the end of this uh, large hall and uh, there, are, there are a set of stairs um, on which uh, then um, there are other doors to lead into each room but you go straight through the um, first one in, in front and uh, it opens up into this um, another sort of large chamber that it's tall and it has uh, this uh, back um, wall filled with uh, um, huge um, arched um, <laughs> arched um, um, windows that filled the entirety of the wall and also allowing a lot of uh, sun to pass through that it's sort of changed in hue due to its uh, um, murals that uh, depict various gods and such and symbologies and um, the room itself is quite beautifully decorated with uh, large paintings, a fireplace, and in the middle of it, it's um, a very large uh, table, um, and uh, uh, around which stand uh, two individuals. Uh, you see a um, another uh, uh, dwarf, yeah, another dwarf, um, female that um, seems to be again a very heavy plated uh, uh, armored um, and uh, seems to be inspecting some sort of a map looking uh, that's on the table and uh, next to it is this uh, very uh, tall uh, human looking individual that um, he um, he wears this uh, beautiful uh, like white with red and uh, golden um, motifs on it but it has this almost it, like a white robe underneath it and uh, bits of plate armor adorned on top and um, also um, uh, has this very huge uh, warhammer next to him he has um, a bit slightly darker skin uh, on his face and um, his uh, eyes are almost uh, pure uh, white golden as he also has a few lines of sorts that uh, protrude from his uh, eye sockets to um, the side of his, his chin has a small stubble beard and um, a um, blonde uh, hair that's uh, tight Oh yes, I have these as well. That's uh, that <laughs> is tied. <laughs> that's tied in a bun, and um, the meaty bun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Th and does that, wait, sorry to interrupt you, but does this guy kind of resembles a bit how Sister Leandra was having these metallic things done for, but um, in a more golden, uh, non-evil kind of way? Um, not really. No. Okay. No. I mean, they are still like. Uh, very they're not um, wavy and such they're very um, straight lines that protrude from here and splits a little bit yeah but uh, and um they're like scars or touches? no not scars because they also have very 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 faint glow in them paint? like uh, maybe it's paint no. face runs yeah inlays <laughs> but um yeah, and so as um, 
they they were there at the table talking you enter and um, they both uh, they all look towards you uh, they um, acknowledge Moram first and uh, uh, the male um, folk says uh, mm, Moram who do you bring in these halls um, well you see uh, these individuals here wanted to um, meet you personally, Adan, to, um, uh, well, um, update you on uh, the situation regarding the Dragonborns and also to collect um, a sort of um, a reward that you've put up. Um, he takes a glance towards all of you and... Uh, Hello! Yeah. Hi! Right, um... Mm. Oh, so, um... He, thanks, thank you, Moram. Um, come, approach. I am a Paladin Adan um, of uh, the Shield of Retribution. Uh, well, not Guild, Order. That's it. Order here in uh, Gazia, and uh, we welcome you in our holy city. Um, is it true? Or have you uncovered any uh, rumors or whereabouts of dragonborns in the, the nearby area? Well, not only that. I think we've taken out quite a few. And it's a bit dark what we found. We also have the tales that I have told you want I, uh, for stew. No, for the food. No, for the money. That's no, we want yeah. the That's money. That's indeed. But, no. um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, may I see it? And what is this dark thing? Well, Basically, Sister Leandra. Oh, you found her as well? Uh, yeah, she's dead. She was put in a <laughs> sarcophagus. Uh, an evolution we chamber. An evolution chamber. We so and we show that. him the letter. The thing is, also like, oh yes, yeah, so you must be the individuals I've heard about. She yeah. has been, uh, I've, I've heard um, of uh, speaking in the um, Temple of Virtue that uh, she was brought in. Uh, so it must be you. Okay. So we brought proof. We have the lead of this evolution chamber that she was mm. transformed. Curious, curious. And apparently she became mm. something that the dragonborn called a husk. Yeah. Uh, also, do you know something about... Uh, Keys names. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, he will take that at the time. Um, okay, let's read, read, read through. <laughs> always happen, always mm. remember what happened before. And uh, he will be like, uh, <sighs> yes, quite, uh, quite troublesome indeed. These news, I, uh, I still have no idea of what rally point uh, Helios may indicate, but uh, whatever it is, uh, hopefully it's not nearby or. Definitely, I would need to uh, double the guards and uh, the patrols in the outer areas of the city. Um, um, also, he. She seemed she was still semi conscious about her doings and she pleaded for us to kill her. So she pleaded to us to kill her. She was not in control. Yeah. She I was conscious, but not in control. I, I, do, I do believe you because also. Um, Late last night, I um, went to the Temple of Virtue upon hearing this rumor that uh, uh, her remains have been delivered, and uh, I've checked uh, myself some uh, some of the evidence and remains, and uh, whatever um, happened to her, uh, definitely a tragedy. But uh, we will um, will like this is definite proof that. Um, they do have some sort of a technology that is quite uh, beyond uh, our understanding for now and now more than ever we need to mobilize and hopefully get the attention of the kingdom of Alequenza to join us in a war against Nunyar but they're I stubborn as ever. What's Nunyar? I don't know, but also Paladina done. Sorry to interrupt, but as you have the note already, do you recognize any of the names that are written over there? Um, he looks over and um, 
Yes, well, um, the Scarlet Oppressor has definitely um, been, heard, been mentioned in other reports I've gathered, but uh, from, from, ev from all the evidence, I believe uh, he might be their current leader. I'm not sure. Whatever they do in uh, their um, city in Nunyar, um, it's been secretly held ever since. Um, so they're in Nunyar? Nunyar, it's their uh, capital city. And, uh, Did they name it as such because it's Nunyar business? <laughs> <laughs> But wait, uh, is yeah, like, Nunyar uh, the capital of the realm? Tries to hmm? Is Nunyar the capital of the realm? No, no, no. It's, it's just the capital of their uh, territory. So oh, the so Dragonborn state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is to the but south. Um, but, uh, it's, yeah. it's a known location, or is it yes. like a mystery? Okay. It's uh, pretty much known, though, uh, um, like until the eruption of ages, uh, even visitors to Nunyar are like... Uh, not a nice place to visit, so to say. Oh, even uh, before that. Because, hmm? even, before even before that, like, you would be accepted into, like, m sort of into their outer uh, city um, place area, uh, but uh, in their inner city, it's just for them, like, uh, no access to other uh, folk. And, um, um, yeah, like, now, ever since the eruption of ages, uh, all of the remaining Dragonborn from all around the realm, they've been exiled just to their place, and uh, like, yeah, they're not allowed anywhere. Mm. This was this was the decree um, that was given, and um, yeah, ever since then, like uh, they've become they've became even more hostile, and pretty much nobody goes there to New York except us. Yeah, sure, <laughs> but. Um, we have um, to go to the top of the mountain, you know. Pa Paladina Dan, do you know the whereabouts of this Scarlet Oppressor? <sighs> I'm asking only because I discovered two weeks ago that he stolen some important relics from Noptia in Karu. If you know those we, things. We are aware of those. And he is supposed to be here in Gazia, I believe. Hmm. Well... No, not sure where you got your uh, information, uh, miss, but um, this is definitely troubling news. And this heli uh, rally point helio, um, I'll uh, put all of my men to investigate and uh, discover uh, what's what. But uh, and it turns to the other dwarf uh, lady that was uh, in the chamber and says, uh, Lieutenant Kalnata, go. Uh, um, mobilize two other uh, additional squads to send on patrol to nearby uh, blooms and forest and uh, the surroundings we need to find if there are any other camps such as this and hopefully find uh, what well, mr uh, Dan, have you ever seen such monstrosities before asks as they call them um he he uh, s look, stays a bit and kind of almost looking distant and um, he's like I believe I have um, though memory sometimes uh, plays uh, tricks on me and I'm not quite sure but I was there at a very young age when uh, in Alaquenza when the eruption of ages happened and uh, I do believe that while they were evacuating the illustrious soul district after the incident I'm uh, I'm quite sure I've heard some screams of anguish that seem to resemble a creature as you as you describe but I was very young I when I saw sister Leandra's remains last night something triggered me and made me unsure of what was it but what hmm. is the eruption of ages and um, 
and he looks at you a bit. Mm. But he trusts you, like, yeah. Um, it's not his business why you're blue. <laughs> 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 um, but, um, yeah, um, he says, uh, how, how come you've never heard of the eruption of ages? It's, it's a clat cataclysm that happened 35 I'm not years from ago. Around here. Hmm, I mean, yes, I probably could tell that, but. But it's my business. She's very young. Day. Day. Day, yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh, right. oh, I definitely know what it is, but uh, you should tell my friend over here what it was, so she can learn. <laughs> um, I'll get the, uh, these once again, but basically it was this um, a violent earthquake eruption that happened in Alequenza uh, 35 years ago, or, or so, I think, yeah, 35. And... Um, Basically what happened, it's after the earthquake happened and the earth uh, cracked, uh, from beneath it rose these uh, uh, metallic pillars uh, that had uh, uh, some sort of um, uh, inlays in them with flowing uh, strange um, bluish energy and uh, as, he, as he continues describing, it's kind of resembling like as well, saying the details with the um, color of it changing the hue in the different uh, light conditions and such and um, like he kind of it kind of resembles the um, an obelisk uh, yes there was a, the a large obelisk in the middle and it kind of resembles the same sort of structure that uh, the evolution chamber was made of as well and um interesting <laughs> and this all yeah. happened in the light or illuminated district, no? Uh, illustrious soul district, yes, yeah, of Alequenza. This um, happened all in, uh, in Alequenza or in Alequenza? Or in every city? No. Okay. Only there. But uh, Alequenza, like being the capital of the realm, because you were asking before, like it's a uh, metropolis, so it's huge, huge, and this destroyed probably a quarter of it. But. Um, yeah, and uh, again, there have been since then there have been many, many rumors of on the like what caused it, what happened, why, and um, and such. But um, then uh, this, the Scarlet Oppressor knows something about the eruption of ages, since uh, this proof that you brought here shows uh, uh, that definitely. He not sure he might be connected at uh, this this would be quite uh, a, revela a revelation but we need more proof than this um, but nonetheless um, you've done tremendous job can and um, the virtue with uh, the, the gods of the pantheon of virtue definitely will uh, reward you for this but um, can we have one more ask for you paladina dan to um, or maybe, maybe we're thinking the same thing. Um, I would like to let you our info where we're staying in the EOL play. So if you learn anything new about, let's say, the Scarlet Oppressor, what material is the lid made of? Anything new related to this event, maybe you can send for us. Um, well, of course, I, um, I was thinking to, to ask for this, like your group of mercenaries name or something to contact you if anything uh, can we um, have uh, a two minutes uh, just to because uh, i also need to fill in the forms for the rewards on the, the oh, payments that we're to about to let it TBD to TBD. be decided well uh, if you want of course you can be temporarily become uh, members of uh, the dark cloud brotherhood i don't want to hear about this <laughs> also <laughs> What is the dark cloud brotherhood? He explained I it before. I, I know, know, but I didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> a dark brotherhood. Um, <laughs> is I'll talk to Biden, but after this. Yeah, um, it's fine. You take your time, decide on the name. But what did you? No, uh, I'll let them speak, and I'll come back to you oh. after. Um, how about uh, the dark cloud brotherhood and allies? No. 
the, the worst idea ever. Or you seem to have an obsession with this. Well, look who's talking. I do have some vacating uh, uh, spots in the Brotherhood. Like do all you of have them. to be male to be uh, in the Brotherhood? No, of course not. It's just. What about sisterhood? If you change the name to sisterhood, I will join. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe cousinhood. Cousin, cousinhood. <laughs> How what about, about peoplehood? <laughs> the dark cloud friendhood. friendhood. Oh. Yes. yes. I was thinking of that. Mm, or can it my dark cloud? <laughs> or does, does it dark have cloud? to be dark cloud? Well, does it have to contain for, that? For now, if you wish, I could just take one of your names. By the way, um, um, as can I give mine? Other than Adan. No. 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 <laughs> just write three S's, and I don't mean the bam bams. Um. <laughs> That's obscene. <laughs> but, uh, Why, silly, silly? Shelly. That's not fair to the others. Well, um, it's just uh, it's give it's me a name, it's fine. Uh, if you don't have a um, group right name. Just write <laughs> oh, oh, How about we put a pin in that? Uh, G-O-B-B-A apostrophe. G-O, oh, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> And uh, um, how many Dragonborn tails have you brought? Five hundred. Uh, <laughs> how many were there? Five. Five. So five. Five. So, five. 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 so the thing is, um, it will uh, say um, five hundred plus the three hundred for uh, so. Sister Leandra. So a total of eight hundred gold. It will be placed in a pouch in front of you. I, I, I divide it equally into yeah seven will, uh, piles. Think you go oh, back. Yeah. All right, Eight. and um, oh, 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 hold on seven. one second, Mr. Paladin. Sir, I uh, also brought this material uh, lid, uh, the sarcophagus that turns Sister, Sister Leandra was made out of this, and it's mighty heavy. And we carried that all the way, like all of us. And uh, I, I think we might deserve some reward for providing valuable um. research material. And we should also tell you uh, where the rest of it was last seen. But after okay. the money. Well, well, how about some more money? Persuasion check from you, either individually or with advantage. With advantage. Okay. We should be in luck. Go about the persuader. I will oh. also use uh, yeah, divine favor. Hmm? Yeah. That uh, a favor by the gods, sorry. Oh no, it's not for skill checks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's a 10. <laughs> it's a 10? I mean, he, he looks at this and he is like, well, he also brought some very valuable information uh, with the note and such, so uh, all I can do is an extra 100. Can you do anything better? I mean, it's the no. No, can it's you the leak. It's okay. It's we. We, we appreciate all we the help. We were traumatized. We need to sleep. No, you were the head of the Let me do it. Uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> this is all we could have spared. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, can you give us some. I make the puppy eyes at him. Doesn't affect him. Wait, uh, let me give you a lift. <laughs> and. Uh, if you can answer my two questions. One, have you seen this insignia before and I show him the insignia of the cabal? Oh, the the cabal, cabal, cabal. cabal. Uh, no, he was not. And uh, what was the other thing? Um, By the way, it's 128 gold each. Ooh. 100 what? Eight. Well, not eight, uh, it was seven. Eight. And who's the eighth one? Don't you have people here <laughs> in your you, you conclave you like who can the money. scry oh, right. the so it's But uh, without whisper. Because there are more <laughs> things happening here. So, you said about uh, Don't you people? have people here that can scry on individuals, like the Scarlet Oppressor and see his location? We yeah. are not quite sure on the identity of the individual. Hold up. Um, do you know how he looks like? In a scarlet oppressor? Yes. yes, I can give you a full description. Do you have any means to, to make yourself look like him? Of course 
not look at okay. me. What can I do? Uh, well, and I even if so, like... Um, I can draw. Probably... I can make a stick man. Um, <laughs> we, know, we know that he... One of the relics he stole he stole from Karu was the um, cape of uh, Dark and Night, um, which um, it's an artifact bestowed by the gods from Aitea. We presume to be Eryx, but um, um, that one we believe it allow it allows him to be unseen even by the eyes of the gods for whatever his devious schemes might be. Oh, oh, oh let's back up. What did you say about Eryx again? Um, there was this artifact she bestowed to us, the cape of uh, night night sky. Um, so oh, yeah, and um, well. We know that Scarlet Oppressor has stolen that, and uh, it would prevent would prevent us or even the gods from watching what his devious actions would be. Oh, so you will not be able to scroll him. Unfortunately, yeah. not. But again, um, we thank you so much for your services, and. Um, you s where did you say we could find you if you're still in town? E you want to play room e from street? All right, yes, from we know it. The one from three, the farmland. Four and five. <laughs> Understood. You also miss. Um, I'll have a question. Do you know uh, Leonine? No offense, children. By the name of Paxio. Paxio. Um, oh yes, it's quite uh, an um, elder, uh, gentle and very devout follower of Xenos. Uh, probably you could uh, find him around, uh, ask around the Temple of Virtue, and uh, he mainly spends his time either there or in the halls of study. All right, thank you. Well, um, I apparently have a lot of urgent meetings to hold with some of my officers and lieutenant based on this information so thank you once again and uh, if we anything thank you uh, friend for everything and I with Gust I just to carry a wisp of wind towards him by I'm in total I, you, you're from the Feywilds right? no oh. it's the business of mine where I am blue from. Of course, <laughs> uh, yeah. we we understand pri privacy. So, um, with that, um, let's. Uh, uh, this meeting is uh, is adjourned, and uh, I have uh, a question: Do Eterus have names? Eterus. Well, we know of them, though. Mm, in very rare creatures, we we don't know much on them, unfortunately. To say that probably the tribes of uh, Amantotal shamans could tell you more, mm. <coughs> especially those from Atmos Grove up north. But uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Most Grove. Okay. Thank so, you. thank you so much. I shall uh, keep in touch. Is he? Extends a hand, and there are also the doors open for you. And he turns um, towards uh, the Miss. Uh, what did I say? Then? When he extends the hand, I try to like. You said. Uh, <laughs> you said. Uh, my my uh, notes are all over the Kul place. Kalnata. Yeah, uh, Kalnata. Um, or Kalnata. So um, and starts saying stuff. Moram. And Moram. Yeah, Moram uh, will come down to us. All right, that uh, that went well, and uh, you got yourself a bit of uh, pocket money. Great, great. Um, well, where are you guys off to? I'm uh, coming to your forge. For yes, uh, yes. Uh, I shall introduce you to my uh, uh, friend uh, at the Spirit Anvil, uh, blacksmith uh, Brell. Uh, he's a he's a cool fella. He'll uh, help you patch everything up. Uh, 
Also, yeah. do you know any shops like for that have potions or magic cool mm -hmm. stuff? I can show you around. Yes, there is uh, the miracles from Ithea uh, magic shop. And uh, you might find all sorts of uh, goodies over there. Mm. So, shall we head off then? Um, can I ask the thing, Mr. Morf, Master Morf? Uh, could I perhaps get be granted access into the library? Mm -hmm. Access with someone watching me, of course, not like alone. I mean, not the ones in the halls of study. There are other public libraries in Gazia. Maybe you can come uh, to me when I search for Paxio. But sure. they, uh, over there, the halls of study, they only hold the most sacred texts and uh, various. It's a reliquary, so it's very restricted and heavily guarded. Uh, it's, uh, Maybe my uncle can put in a good word for you. <laughs> Bless, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Yes, he likes to tickle children in his sleep. Oh, that doesn't oh, sound right. I feel dirty. <laughs> Under oh, his no. chin, just to purr. Yes. Yes. Come on, guys. Mm. Mm. Alright. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you exit um, the, um, the Shield of Retribution headquarters and you're off to the Temple of Virtue or. Because uh, that one would be quite close, where you could find... What's the closest? Yeah, uh, Temple of Virtue would the, be quite the close. Group? Maybe we can Why do we go fast? To fast? What? Are we splitting the group to move fast? I think we're sticking to... I don't not. like to walk alone, so I don't okay. know. Hmm. Let's go very fast then to the So, temple. yeah, because uh, it's uh, like sort of opposite to this very grandiose uh, plaza and the uh, garden area with um, a small maze and various statues of uh, pure white marble that depict uh, various gods. And um, yeah, as you approach the Temple of Virtue, seeing what comes in store, we're going to take a quick break, guys, and oh. see you here oh. in just a little bit. My adventure of editing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, see you guys.
<laughs> mysterious. Um, right. Well, welcome uh, back. Yeah, welcome back, and um, let's uh, resume the adventure. And uh, we see the party <laughs> killing off a turtle. By the way. No. But yeah, sorry, a frog, a frog. It's a frog. Is yeah. that a hint, but, guys? No. Uh, so, welcome back. We'll resume where we left off with you heading um, just past uh, this retribution square into the Temple of Virtue. And um, <coughs> you've been here before, but uh, now it's daytime, and uh, compared with last time, uh, when entering this um, huge um, circular uh, building, tall, with uh, an another extra dome on top. Um, now it's um, it's more beautiful as uh, the lights that reflect from uh, the ceiling uh, create this kaleidoscope of colors that uh, quite um, and paints this uh, very serene, magnificent um, uh, land uh, visuals. Serenescape. And, um, <laughs> serene landscape. <laughs> Sir, Sir, Sir landscape. But, Sir landscape. Um, yeah, and uh, looking around, there are <coughs> various priests of different uh, uh, gods that uh, go around their business. Uh, what is it? Look for the one that looks like Iris. The the uh, dark, dark uh, night uh, goddess, I think. Iris? Uh, the mother of... Uh, the mother of night. night. What are you That's talking fine. about, CP? Is that one? Uh, yeah, there are various illustrations and uh, beautiful paintings in uh, that Renaissance wow. style of uh, various gods. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, that's one Crepa. <coughs> oh, oh, Irix. Yeah, <laughs> that one. Let's go over there. Beautiful. As um, you're over there, um, um, looking and admiring the place, um, approaches you a. Uh, a slightly older um, Leonin the fella that uh, um, you do see that uh, he used to be blonde in the fur color but now uh, some parts turn a bit whitish grayish from age <coughs> and um, has a very calming uh, um, facial expression and such and he wears this uh, um, like almost uh, what's called the togas, like those uh, yeah. Roman uh, ro robes and such, with a blue sash, yes. and um, wears a uh, a stick as well with some sort of a bluish um, crystal in there, and uh, a very large, huge uh, scroll on his back that carries. And uh, you looking around, uh, he approaches. We'll say. Uh, you. <laughs> I mean, they're quite like, uh, Yeah. And um, he's like, mm, you, may I help you? You're looking for anyone around? Well, what? what's your name? Oh, I am. Uh, I am Paxio. And uh, I am uh, oh. one of the groundskeep here at uh, the temple. And, um, yes. Uh, need any help. Well, that's fortunate, because I was actually looking for you. Hmm, I like coincidences. Oh. <laughs> my, 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 how the plot thickens. It's uh, as thick uh, as my shell. All right. Um, well, what, what may I help you with? I Mr. think I am Sheldon Kapalak. I come from the island of El Tuchiabo. And my uncle here, uh, you see, well, he is trapped in my ring. That actually, he gave me this ring. I think you knew my uncle before. Um, His name was Karak. Karak. Um, uh, I'll see if he remembers. Because <laughs> he's an old dude. Uh, sounds familiar. I've only met, uh, like... Four others, uh, tortled, uh, tortled in my life before. Probably it might be one of them. Well, he used to tell me about the day you met, and he had just arrived in Gazia, and he said everything was so pure and perfect, and it was boring. Uh, and 
well, you know, I actually don't remember, but he had a pretty adventurous spirit. So naturally, he ventured into the, well, mischief part of the town and one guy knows a guy and he knows a guy and they went looking for some fun and tried to get into the halls of study I think to check some <coughs> manuscripts or uh, yes I, I, I do remember Kapak now um, <laughs> yes quite a Funny daughter. He was uh, first thing. Also, uh, what he asked me was uh, to point him towards the whorehouses. But <laughs> oh, that was uh, fun. Mm -hmm. No, we I don't. think he left out this part of the story. But I was also rather Indulge young in, um, in those sort of things. Uh, but yeah, um, and you said you, he, he's in there. Oh. He gave me this ring right yeah. before he died and then somehow his soul got trapped and he's been traveling with me ever since do you want to see it may i may yes. I? quite curious of course uh, i can hear him you know mm. but quite faintly nowadays he takes it looks at it inspects it looks at uh, the actual gem it's uh, it's a green gem it's uh, that uh, stuck in there and uh hmm so you said that uh, this uh, he's trapped sort of in this gem. I don't know how it happened, but I I can hear him. None mm. of the others could hear him when I tried to give them the ring. So I pretended this. for a little bit, but. Yeah, but he told me afterwards that she couldn't hear him. Whoa. She would have been more offended. <laughs> you see here, um, what uh, what uh, you hold in uh, like this ring, the the gem in here. It's not uh, your uh, everyday custom emerald. This is a special type of gem. Mm -hmm. I've heard uh, people from the um, gravel grotto talk about it though quite rare to see a uh, piece of uh, aerolite uh, in here i'm not sure where your uncle would have got it from but uh, um me personally i do not know how these sorts of enchantments work but if you're really interested in uh, fixing it, uh, then perhaps uh, you might need to go check with the Earth Genasi tribe at uh, the community at the Gravel Grotto. They know how to work with this sort of gem, uh, from my knowledge. And um, um, yeah. Um, Hands you back. Mm -hmm. um, you put it back on. Okay. And uh, as soon as uh, you put it uh, back on, uh, you hear uh, the voice of Ka uh, Kapak? Ka Karak. Karak. Um, Karak. So close. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote Same. Krepak here. Yeah. What the fuck? I, th I think you Karak. actually said something close to Krepak. Yeah. <laughs> Karak. Krepak, Karak, Karak. Kapalak. There are a lot of K yeah. and no, only one king in the heart. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Carla. Like backward one. Uh, <laughs> and Karina. So, um, yeah, as soon as you put it back on, um, he says, um, you hear the voice. Um, no, no, no. Um, you know, insist, insist, tell, tell Paxio to fix it himself. Um, insist, please. All right, uncle, I'll try. He specifically asks you to try to fix the ring yourself. Is there any way you could help? Um, he seems quite insistent and I think you remember how he gets. And also you hear that... Uh, and tell, uh, tell him I'm, I'm, I'm sure as well for uh, mixing his uh, incense herbs with uh, uh, Wicked Blindweed as well. Uh, sorry. 
Oh, he's muttering something about incense. In, I hope it's not incense. <laughs> incense! <laughs> and some weeds. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see why you said uh, your uncle. Uh, yeah, now uh, I, uh, it's definitely him. Um, he was he was quite a trickster, but uh, yeah. Mm. Um, hmm, let's see. <sighs> Again, I'm I'm sorry, but uh, this is beyond my knowledge. While I do know quite a few things over the years. Uh, this is uh, one field that I haven't studied, uh, and uh, as uh, Zenos uh, likes to say, uh, to know is to know that you know nothing. Uh, that is the meaning of knowledge. So but don't you have all this knowledge gathered in this restricted section that you can always learn? Maybe after all this time you would like to try something new? Um, I could definitely check with the records. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely check with the records. Yeah, do you want to try something new? <laughs> <laughs> Though... Um, I'm pretty sure there isn't much information uh, on this um, uh, aerialite uh, gem. Um, as I said, all that I've gathered is that it's uh, very rare and uh, mainly originates uh, from uh, the depths of uh, Morenza Mountains in the north, where also Gravel Grotto is. And um, it's, there are definitely evidences and, and such where, um, like, it's somehow connected to those Earth Ganassi. I know they have a special relationship with it. I don't know. They they studied intensely and the Earth what? The Earth Ganassi. It, uh, it's um, oh. Hmm. What, oh, if I may ask, what uh, is the business of mine? Why in blue? Uh, are you from the Feywilds? No. <laughs> Why do people keep asking me this? Well, we do not know <coughs> of your kind. Sorry, no, no judgment here. But um, we we also haven't seen blue persons before. Um, you and me. Both. Oh. And uh, my other explanation would be from the Feywilds, unless uh, there might be another realm um, out there, another plane of existence. There is a possibility. Mm. I think it doesn't matter where but you come from. She is very friendly. Yes. They. They <laughs> are very friendly. I am sorry. Okay. I have short memory. And, um, well, um, what can you tell me about the Earth Ganassi? I'm not that familiar with them. Um, they're, um, they're a rare race uh, <coughs> that um, are from... Um, they mainly originated from the Gravel Grotto. There, there is basically their sanctum. And, um, well, you see... Um, I've, I've had the chance to talk with a few of them, and uh, there are quite uh, some special individuals. Uh, they seem to have um, a, uh, not per se a spirit or soul, but more of a um, primordial essence that uh, fuels their, uh, their living state, so to say. And... Um, I, uh, from our records as well, uh, probably I shouldn't say this, but uh, uh, I mean, um, should I say? Any information would help. We definitely do not want to upset them. Well, uh, following the teachings of uh, Zeno's ignorance will bring forth the, ra the his wrath, so uh, I'd rather share this knowledge with you so you may grab your wings. And Thank you. Fly with them to Ithea. 
in the name of Xenos. So, um, <coughs> I would like some wings, <laughs> but um, I need some heavy wings. But, um, yes, um, in there, um, they have uh, this uh, primordial uh, earth uh, shard that uh, they extract new essence to form the earth genasi from. And um, there is this uh, belief in their community that um, this um, shard comes from a uh, long, long, long time ago when uh, things were very different and there was no um, tempest fence or anything, though it's quite hard to imagine we've been living with it for our entire life it's what uh, keeps the evil at bay and uh, keeps the place uh, sanctified but um, other than that uh, I'm sorry I can't say too much probably you might need to um, discover on my own yes All right. Um, the, um, if you intend to make the journey to Gravel Grotto, um, it's uh, probably safe if you find, I don't know, a guide or someone uh, in Isinabo, because that's the closest uh, city I know to that region. And pack up climbing gear, you might need it to go atop the Morenza Mountains. I already have mine in people. <laughs> points at the stick. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Um, but um, if I may ask, oh, I mean, did he, he? Did he go? I mean, where did he get the gem? You said you can talk to him, right? Yeah. Um, he never told me, Uncle. Um, how did you get this? Uh, uh, you see a bit stressed. Uh, I, I, I really, I, I really don't. I want to talk about it. Um, maybe another time. But uh, I, Uncle, I really don't want to make the journey. It's important. Uh, I fear that I might lose you. Mm. And you see him like getting stressed, and no, we need to avoid that place. But. Uh, mm. I'm starting to suspect something. Did you obtain it through a legal manner? Uh, well, um, I believe you already know the, the answer. So, mm, you know, I think highly uh, of you. Uh, <laughs> well. I'm sorry to disappoint, um, but um, whew, I all it starts fading the magic enchantment. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I'm losing you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm losing you. No, no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, he's out of impulses. It's fine. He wouldn't um. tell me. He was very skitterish about it. Oh, um. But as you said, he was sort of a trickster, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not one to hold grudges. I, I think, uh, in his own sort of way, he brought some joy <laughs> to this, uh, what he called, dull place. But, um. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry. Can't be much of a knowledge, though. I will, um keep on um, going through some records at the halls of study hopefully um, if I find anything uh, uh, may I have uh, may I have the, uh, what's it called, uh, the, where the location I'm, where uh, we're staying no uh, may I have the okay the yes from you <laughs> the consent <laughs> okay, <laughs> to okay. message you in the absolutely well, find anything I didn't know I could do that let me try <laughs> um, it's, Did uh, you it's get that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Not really. But um, um, I will try again. I will try for um, you guys. If anything comes up, uh, I will uh, notify you. Thank you, Pax. It's, uh, it's quite um, a busy time at the moment with um, um, the festival of sorts to the oh. Harvest Festival. Um, oh. That's um, happening soon. Um, I have two questions. Hmm. Sorry. Yes. Can I ask the questions? Of course. Um, do they have in Grovo Grovo shamans that pray to Etherus or Amantoto? I think I heard this name before, said by Palatina Dan. Um, the um, most of the priests to Amantoto. Um, they um, they live in tribes in Atmos Forest as well because uh, Atmos Grove. Uh, as um, there is where um, the shrine to Amon Total is, and uh, where uh, he sometimes uh, stays, um, you can. He stays. Amon Total himself sometimes graces us with his presence uh, up in the. Really. Yes, though How long ago quite was quite this? rare. Um, last I remember was probably 50 years ago when he showed himself and um, comes to bless the lands, uh, bring forth uh, equ equilibrium in uh, nature, make sure the cycle of life uh, continues as intended. And um, yes, you might find. And the second question. <coughs> um, is this Bravo Grotho filled with the, you said Earth something? Earth Ganassi, yes. Do they also worship Amantoto? Or do they you know? mainly, I mean, there are a few rare exceptions that uh, as well like to go out there, experience the wor world, see what's, uh, what's out there. Mm -hmm. But uh, those that stay within uh, their community usually um, believe in this um, sort of more ancient, um, not religion, I would call it more, um, I don't know, belief mm -hmm. or, or that um, they um, came from a more ancient primordial being of sorts or something. Um, but um, yeah, they cause no harm, so I. It's not like uh, it's a pagan religion of sorts. They keep to themselves. And okay. But, uh, and the second one, I think it would. The third one would be Draven's question. Oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he wants oh to be enlightened. I think he's looking for some books. Yeah. Oh, oh, do you have any books um, on how to not kill your friends? He's not, not that. Uh, I have another question. Uh, <laughs> do you have any books that, <laughs> let's just say, grant you the power to lock someone behind, let's say, a door, but the spell cannot be dispelled from that side? I like, if, for example, let's say I enter a grotto and I have a big rock. And I want to enchant it so that no one can exit. And the person that's inside cannot disenchant the spell from inside. Do you have that? Or do you know I somebody am. who has something like this? I believe, I mean, for this sort of things, I know that there is the Institute of Arcane Developments. Um, they don't have a uh, establishment or office or branch, they call it. Uh, here in Gazia, but uh, you can find in uh, in the other c major cities in Alaquenza, Karu, Nopria, um, and uh, this seems like uh, the sort of uh, magic that you could develop with their help or something. I, our 
powers come from faith, and uh, I do not know any uh, cleric or um, divine user that could do this. Mm -hmm. Ho you hopefully that uh, yeah. answers. It narrows it down a little. But you said you want to ask about the symbol. Oh, right. Symbol. Is there a chance you know anything about the symbol? Hmm. Looks at it they are called the Cabal of the Dark Sun. I believe. <laughs> the Cabal <laughs> of Painted Eclipse. Of Painted Eclipse. <laughs> um, looks at it. Hmm. No, Anything? but the symbology is quite interesting. Um, it's an eclipse. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, there is. I mean, the priests of uh, Eryx who also deal in cosmology and such, uh, they have. Uh, predicted uh, an eclipse this year, so I do not know. And my third and last question. This might sound really um, strange, but where do you keep your relics? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to steal them, I just want to ask. No, I'm sorry, I'm you not at liberty to, to say obvious. such things. But I wasn't lying. Uh, maybe explain a bit more. Okay, so basically, <coughs> and I'll start telling him about the Scarlet Oppressor <coughs> and how he stole some relics from okay. uh, where Karu and, and Nobu. Yeah. Yeah. And that we, at least I, think they'll strike here in the coming days. <laughs> well, um, I mean, I mean I do, I'm not a liberty course. to say, but. Uh, any proof of this, probably you should bring it to the Paladins. Sure. Oh. We've already the talked to Paladin at the, at the end uh, about this. Oh. Uh, um, he's informed. We would just like to have a look over yeah. our side. Body. To make sure that, with your permission, that the relic is still there. Um, again, I, I can go myself to relate this to the folks in the halls of study, but... Um, Unfortunately, it's not open to the public or anything. So, thank you for this, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll keep an open-minded. Mm. I think the harvest festival would be the perfect setting for a break-in. Mm. Probably. A lot of people probably mm. visit Gazia at this point. Um, yes, and uh, again, uh, some also uh, priests of Amantoto bless the harvest this year. That. Uh, has been happening and um, well yeah well we'll keep constant watch but uh, I'm sure the paladins uh, will organize this and can uh, we ask uh, when will the main festivity be uh, I think uh, tomorrow tomorrow is the start of the harvest festival <coughs> could we uh, volunteer to help watch, keep watch around uh, the rim. Oh. If you're all okay with it, I mean yeah, we not can well, uh, I, I sense your uh, um, uh, good not intentions. You, not you, they. <laughs> <laughs> I sense your good intentions, uh, uh, brave uh, adventurers, but um, uh, it's um, the Shield of Retributions have always kept us safe. and uh, Yeah, but uh, we want to make sure that. It's really secure. Not to imply, not to imply that, uh, that they may not be able to defend it or something else. We just... Uh, we, we appreciate all the help, but again... Um, we have a, a, a personal reason about this. We've met the some. Sc some Scarlet Oppressors before. Oh, I mean, I, I've heard of this uh, Dragonborn menace, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure too much of the details. Um, <laughs> horrible. We don't even have to yes, be near the relics. I, uh, like I, the, I understand, the I understand. Uh, and it's not uh, my uh, decision to take on this, but uh, uh, if you said you've spoken with uh, Adan... Yeah, but we didn't tell him that we oh. want to help in guarding the relic. Uh, he um, might, um, if might you could put in a word? Um, of course, uh, yes. Um, he knows how to reach us. If, uh, yeah. There you go. Karina, um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just in character. Okay. 
Oh, CP, are you okay? <laughs> so you see basically CP being poker face and motionless with her head a bit tilted and her eyes gleaming up like a few seconds bright green. Okay. It's CP, I've never seen you like this. I think she's coming down with a fever. She's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, perception. I want to see from yeah. a distance if they are warmer than the normal temperature. Okay. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Can perception. I use my passive? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. I will run. Yeah, but my hands are usually <coughs> cold. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. <laughs> You'd uh, probably again see the small flickers of green in her eyes and. Uh, Probably tiny shakes in her body, like just the very slightly ones. But well, no fever. Mm. No. Um, is this because of the goat milk? <laughs> what have you done? I don't think well, I don't have 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 Boy you never made anyone drink any of it. I, I, this mm. is precisely what you did. Oh no. Sippy? Sippy? So what's happening? Like the, the paladin. What's no, name? he's is still uh, that th there. Is there is no paladin. paladin. No, okay. no, he is he's just a scholar. Yeah. yeah, he's just the bookworm. Yeah, the book lion, the book for you, please. Devout oh, follower of Xenos, and um, like at this point, like he is engaged in the discussions with. Uh, his, uh, I'll say, I mean, he's old. He, his senses are not what he used to be. So he's probably distracted. I'll say uh, with. Talking with you while the rest of you, you know, check on CP. CP? Children? Is there maybe a healer uh, that. Uh, uh, well, I'm not sure what's happening to her. Oh, step aside. I, I've got an ancient goblin remedy for this. The power of Krepak. <laughs> and I raise my staff and I bonk her up the head with a staff and I cast uh, Cure Wounds. That's actually okay. Okay, I can do. You're doing the hurting. Ow! Bonk. Bonk. Why did you hit me? <laughs> She's back to normal. Okay. Thank you. Oh, ph phenomenal. Uh, the power of Krepak has spoken. Uh, you are welcome. The power of violence. Thank you, but you didn't need to hit me on the head. I was just listening. That hear? was high quality spell casted. Did you hear anything with them? Everything with them? Yep. And are you okay with maybe tomorrow defending the relic? Oh yeah, that, that, maybe, yeah, okay. sure. Well, are you aware of the fact that you was all cookie and looking in one place for a bit? You always look cookie and looking one place for a bit. Oh, I'm cookie and I look in a bunch of different places all the time. No, At the same time. It's a battle of wits. In the direction of Krepak. All places are places of Krepok, if you must know. Also, you... No, do not. <laughs> last night you were looking kind of... I mean, you were outside <laughs> and there was no one near you and you were looking like... You seem pretty terrified. Well, it's just uh, me dealing with my internal process of revelation about religion. Okay, but we're right. about to clear all of this up very soon. Okay. Oh, I thought that also, why were you outside again? That's Why did you st start the conversation with this old man about the question. how we have a spell that locks someone inside? <laughs> and then you've <laughs> asked him, how about we guard their relics? Uh, you do that the other way around. Oops, I should not have said that out loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I sense from you that uh, you all <laughs> have uh, <laughs> good that you are For what? Hearts, but, um, <laughs> Make him. I don't trust you. <laughs> Maybe it's best if we... Yeah. Oh, oh, one question. Uh, we're also looking for some followers of Eryx. Or oh, oh. as the popular name goes, Krepak. The priests of Eryx. Take the moment, man. They're the same. Well, um, or trying to find out. Uh, I mean, Eryx is the uh, mother of Night Sky. And oh my god, it's uh, one voice yeah. in uh, your your kind's head it's uh, your 
I mean, no offense, but... Uh, mm-hmm. That uh, sounded very offensive. racist. Uh, but uh, this is Let how it goes. Nothing. Like it's, it's only goblins that have uh, come uh, preaching on Krapak. Maybe uh, the translation is Krapak from Irix. <sighs> well, that's uh, just uh, simple it down for you people of the gods, yeah? How about we find, find out where Irix is? You seem no, Irix stated. <laughs> well, s- you know, uh, he said your people. What do you mean with your people? Your kind. Your no, kind. Your no, your kind. Because uh, <laughs> I've honestly never heard Why anyone who isn't a goblin talking about Krapak. Oh, you haven't Actually, listened good I- well enough. Well, this is a lion then. Right, look. Look yes. on its armor. Look, yeah. it's the symbol of Krapak on the lion's armor. A leonin. It looks very intensely at you. Shame it saves you. By the way, I would say that at this point it's mostly Why? faded out because the paint is not good quality. But it's distinguishable, let's say. Then it looks very closely. Is it true what the goblin says? I'm going to cast prestidigitation to renew your painting on your chest. Oh, I, well, I thought you were going to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, I'm exploring the teachings of Krepak. Right, right. I mean, yes, we we have studied this phenomenon as well here at Gazia for many years, though. Phenomenon? Um, what do you mean by phenomenon? Uh, again, Krepak is like phenomenal. phenomenal. Yeah, That's what it means. It, it is a real thing, like, <laughs> but um, it, it doesn't... Um, Go head in head with what uh, Eric's domains are and what uh, this um, records of uh, Krapak have been like. Um, from what we know, Krapak only uh, talks to um, goblin kind to incite them towards uh, chaotic uh, manners and sometimes violence. And um, maybe she has but to finish it again. Hmm? Maybe she chooses to look some way for the goblins and the other way for the limb. Maybe something is lost in translation. Or maybe sh- nothing. We, we've been studying ever since uh, the dawn of civilization, but uh, the, the only, like, the pantheon of virtue in here, we believe in the living gods. And uh, so far, uh, again, until we see a manifestation of uh, Krapak, a physical manifestation, um, we can't uh, say for real. How well, about okay. the follower of Phoenix then? Eryx has shown herself a few times in the past. Uh, if I recall correctly, two times? Yes, but. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Three times, actually. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, <laughs> Um, yes, we we have no actual proof of Krapak. He would have uh, shown himself, if anything, Somebody if he has. wanted to actually be uh, part of uh, the Pantheon. But well, no, um, Colic Sildring, you, you go right ahead. Still, um, I think we would better talk with uh, one of the of uh, the guys of the uh, night. Uh, uh, of course, they um, well, they mainly gather during night. Um, so that's your best chance. Uh, there isn't any during the day. Uh, the, I could probably call someone if needed. Or well, it's needed right now. Um, we can meet them at night. Just tell us when and where. Um, um, if you remember from uh, last um, session, you were um, <laughs> you when you ca- you went to the uh, temple of virtue late at night. Uh, when you exited, there were some uh, priests outside in that uh, prostrate uh, sta- pose that uh, also wore some sort of. Uh, um, silvery um, robes with black and stars, the symbology of Eric. So, probably believe they were doing their cer- ceremonies then. But 
Yeah. So, where should try at night? I mean, yes, you would find them around by their um, silvery robes with uh, the star uh, imprints on, on them. Well, th thank you for your help. And just so you know, your information is not correct about Krepak. And uh, Gobo just does this uh, 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 snap and uh, a, a star, like uh, just shine like quickly, like some sparkles, and he turns away. Oh, that was very shiny. Mm. He is a bit surprised. He proved you wrong. Okay. Mm. I think you've offended him. Yes. Yeah. He'll that get was quite a sparky comeback. <laughs> I mean, I, I apologize though. Hmm. I'm curious. What is it? The, the sparkle at the end. Yes. Mm. Similar to part of the ceremonies Eric's priests do, but. Uh, strange. Yeah. Um, anyway, any other information uh, might I assist you with? If you are kind, uh, how about the moon? Does it bear any significance with the gods? No, we have no records um, of like Cyrilla has been there long before the gods or long before the dawn of civilization. We, we, some believed it was. Um, part of um, of uh, of the domain of Eryx but uh, ever since the the blood moon happened uh, with the curse of Keneka uh, we believe uh, that might have been a false accusation and uh, as such the clerology clergy 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 Declared that uh, Cyrilla is not one of Eryx's. Uh, Come again, domain. you said it's something with the blood moon. Curse of Keneka. Curse of Keneka. <laughs> Keneka. What Keneka. is the curse Keneka. of Keneka? Keneka is uh, one uh, of yeah, the is previous that, gods. It's the god with the X on it and the name erased, right? <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it was in the temple. <laughs> it was? Yep. Um, uh, well, you see, um, uh, just give me, let me get my notes. <laughs> Is it um, the same with Lesem? Who is Lesem? No, I'm no, just um, asking as a character. You, you don't know. Uh, but um, Lesem is a new information. Um, Keneka, uh, he's. Um, I'm very bad with names. Uh, he was one of the gods that uh, were present. Um, Long ago, he he fell. Let me do the, some maths. But yeah, he fell around uh, seven hundred years ago when uh, um, it seemed that something uh, corrupted him. We're still not sure yet. I believe that's only for the gods to know. But um, uh, he was not such of a kind. God. Um, he had um, the race of uh, gnolls under his uh, command, sort of. And uh, once he became corrupted and went mad in a frenzy, he started uh, this um, attack over. What's the word? Uh, uh, what? He wanted to conquer. conquer. Yeah, yeah, conquer. conquer. Yeah, that's one. He, Conquest. He, Conquest. Yeah, he started his conquest. That's the word. <laughs> he started <laughs> his uh, vampire English guys. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's a it's a red thing. <laughs> you have to have. He it. started um, his contest. Uh, Con conquest. Conquest. <laughs> conquest. Contest. 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 Started his conquest um, by uh, almost mind controlling and taking over the, the entire Gnoll populations and uh, and uh, trying to destroy what the rest of the pantheon has been working on towards building. And uh, but he was uh, he fortunately was struck down by Zarus, 
in an epic, uh, grandiose uh, duel. Um, so the curse of Kaneka is basically the yes. devil's going wild? Uh, yes, and also uh, in the aftermath, right before his death, um, he, cur- he put a curse upon the land to, to create this blood moon once a year in which uh, but again whoever is from uh, and uh, no it's once every 10 years my, my bad but um, except for you whisper uh, the rest of you would know this because uh, every 10 years or so um, uh, you would need to stay inside while during these two three nights of blood moon because uh, if you are outside in uh, its direct uh, moonlight uh, you tend to go taco <laughs> and like kind of like you get this animal instinct uh, of, of overtaking you and uh, um, yeah you get you start full of bloodlust and, uh, when is the next, and savage um, <coughs> blood moon? Um, it's uh, this year actually and this is uh, why I'm this <laughs> is why I'm <laughs> this is why I'm concerned as well uh, with that uh, name you said Oppressor? No, the one you showed me, it's a cabal of oh. tainted eclipse. Hmm. Hopefully... Wait. And, uh, I, I need to investigate this, I'm sorry. Um, I think we have just to do with a lot of questions. Yeah. Yes, and you've made me question quite a few things. Well, you I should need keep to go. questioning a lot of the things you know. Always. Knowledge just, is what I've done my entire life. Or just accept knowledge. what's happening. Each to his own belief. But uh, we're staying at uh, the your old feet. Uh, what did I say state? You have any state. information for us, or if you need our help, Steve. we're willing to yes. offer it. We, we occupy rooms 3, 4, and 5. Right. Uh, and also I have a simple yes or no question. Uh, do you want to go on a date? Do you want to go on a date? You like me, yes? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if you do want to go with me on a date, uh, do the dragonborns pray to a an evil god, or do we know their god? Not that uh, we know of. They, they mostly say they follow the pantheon, but most of them seem atheist. Okay. Say they. It was a yes or no question, not a in-depth, maybe, oh, perhaps, oh. I don't know, I don't so. Think much so. talk about the gods. Yeah. Um, so, um, I, uh, I need to go to the halls of study. All this information you've given me, made me think. When I do research, no? Yes, mm. quite a few topics. Thank you for your patience. And uh, if anything, I, um, I shall get back to you. Get back. Yes, I yes. will. Yeah. Right. Did you manage to ask him about the gravel grotto or whatever was the random name? He the gravel grotto, and yes. Yeah, he picks up and leaves. <coughs> yes. Bye. Thank you for your it's kindness. Been, it's been uh, great meeting you. Pleasure to meet I still don't know your names. Um, Just I'm call Shelley. us the Sh- Yes, Shelley. My name, do you want my full name? No. Yes. Whisper Gary Pine. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. Before coming down and underneath the eagle wings. Or simply whisper. Whisper. <laughs> he is about to, like, he's in a hurry, taking some scrolls and stuff, and stays for it. Through the Tempest Vents? <laughs> whisper Gary Pine right. agrees to the Northwest through the Tempest Vents before becoming the wind underneath the eagle wings. Um, and um, now it's fellow shepherds of Sepia. Also. Oh, um, I'm Sippy. The fellow Sippy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she is um, interesting. They I'm not sure if they. she's telling the truth or not. Uh, I but, am the um, day. Yes. <laughs> I, I definitely <laughs> will uh, keep in touch with you folks. You seem uh, interesting. So, uh, excuse me. And um, he picks up his uh, things and. Uh, you are excused. <laughs> starts heading uh, uh, off. Um, what do you do? Well, that individual was just a, not a very nice person. Honestly, I actually liked him. Oh, he hated him. He didn't know squat. I yes. think he was setting his ways and 
old and not open to new info, so... Right, right, exactly my point. Let's see, what else do we have on the list of the CP? It's a uh, visit the magic shop. Yes, we have to visit uh, the miracles from my tia. And then do the mending of the children armor. Mm. Yes, indeed. And what else? Uh, two things. One, seeing how maybe tomorrow we'll go on a defense mission, maybe. We should yeah. stock up on um, But potions. why tomorrow? Because tomorrow is the start of the festival. Tomorrow is the start of the festival. But I want to go to the festival, not guard the thing that is already guarded. But in the notes it says something about the... the, the, the meet at the beginning of festival? I forgot. In which note? It's me what? We had a note that was oh. written. Oh, right. And draconic. And inside it. When do they meet at the Helix Point Rally Point of week. Helio or whatever? In one week. It's been uh, four days uh, since Could like we you since you got uh, determine if uh, how old this letter is. Maybe. I guess it's a stretch, that. But yeah, that would um, that would require, I guess, some tools. Or not? Do we How have about a we new go? Forgery? Uh, How about we go to a magical shop and, and use the magic there to start to determine oh. the the okay. the, uh, the um, duration of the writing? Okay. Uh, like a very I'm just checking just a little bit in tonight. a second. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Kind that important. I'll say if anyone has uh, cal calligrapher supplies. I have painter supplies. No. Mm. I don't think so. Under tools, <laughs> I, mean. I have written. Or. Nine. Wait. Or. No. I can or play no. the flute. <laughs> How cute. I can hold my breath. Also, uh, CP. <laughs> I can do this. Yeah, so it would be calligrapher supplies to determine also, when it was written, like the how well it imprinted on the paper and these sort of things. Like that. Okay, let's go see the mending and the magic yeah. and be the happy. Should we split up? Sure. Also, you should work. put there on your uh, agenda, uh, we're going to visit Eryx in the, in the evening. Oh, Sheldon, would you kindly join me on that uh, endeavor? Sheldon was still holding his breath. Like You can breathe now. Now you blow. That's fine, I can hold it for one hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you scared me for nothing. Was I a bit... We were seeing oh you were turning green. Rosy. <laughs> I'm already green. Brownish. Like you. I'm sorry, Gopal. What did you want to say? Oh, I wanted you to, to join me on this spiritual endeavor to be towards Erix. It, it uh, might uh, be a continuation of a discussion we was having. You need some support. Right, I support. Understand. Absolutely. Of I have to come. It's where I shine. Well, children, uh, I'm sure that you have plenty of time uh, training it. Uh, since we uh, are uh, splitting groups, uh, Whisper already promised she would join me and Sheldon already. Okay. I am not remember. What do you <coughs> think? I do what, this and, and I, I, I cast message and, and I, 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 I uh, cast message for, for you on your end. Whisper, you must definitely agree with me. There is a, an investigation I'm doing and you must lie and say that you agreed. Do we hear this? No, you don't. No, it's, it's a message. <laughs> I go like... <laughs> <laughs> like, we, yeah, yeah, like Whisper this. says, why do you poke me? Why are you coughing? Uh, I must go do the investigation. Yes. Which investigation? The investigation of not the lying. <laughs> For sure you're lying, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's I wish you, you would be just honest with us, guys, because we're a family now. Yes. No. Koba, please. I've never I had don't understand. And I'm making puppy eyes at you. Right, it seems I like will a... I support you no matter what. You know this. A gobble blushes actually. No. Oh, all oh, right, Lloyd. Uh, okay, we're going all. We're all going to to Eric's. It, it seems training later. 
Okay. okay. So first we go. Oh. Magic Day's sword activities are no. doing the day. Oh, by the way, yeah, Moram w- was waiting for you yeah. outside. Like, so, okay. was, was oh, so we don't split up. We go as a group. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Onwards. This is how you do it. <laughs> Never split the party. Does Moram's shop fit all of us? <laughs> Just stick it's there. A, it's a friend's shop, but uh, it should. Just tightly. But, um, alright, so um, you, the blacksmith, yeah? The, the forge. Yes. What um, was the name of the forge? Because I've written only the forge. forge. The spirit anvil. The spirit anvil. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, Moram takes you back. Now you are uh, once again inside the Radiant Halls. And um, uh, it's an interesting place because uh, not only like it looks grandiose, uh, and uh, um, again, this very. Imagine like uh, a mall, <laughs> but like, it, like the, but the shops in it, <laughs> but it's, it's like 10 times bigger, and the, the and buildings inside are even grandiose and such. Mega mall. And uh, it's, <laughs> so yeah, it's evil uh, Giga, Giga mall. <laughs> a religious but medieval mall. Yeah, yeah. yeah religious. Me- <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, shopping mall. Um, yeah, all shopping. But uh, yeah, uh, you are now still in the lower um, holes, like in the lower uh, area. And um, you walk for a bit, and um, you. Arrive uh, in front of um, uh, this uh, shop that uh, even uh, from the outside, like the, the doors um, are um, semi-opened, and uh, this this allows for uh, a very uh, hot steam of air that to blow through. And as you as uh, you approach more, uh, well, come come, um, I'll introduce you to Brel. He's a good friend of mine. And uh, he opens the doors. And uh, inside, um, it's um, it's quite a medium-sized uh, building that has uh, um, all sorts of uh, armors on display, uh, mainly um, also um, uh, paladin armors, like plate mail that have uh, sort of different symbologies of different gods on them and such. But um, it, then it has a, a large counter, and uh, behind it, it's um, this uh, circular uh, forge that uh, there are like uh, three or individuals that are working on the same time. And um, Moram goes, uh, "Oi, Rel, come here! I want to uh, to introduce you to some of uh, my, f- my my friends." And um, yeah, we are the friends. <laughs> There is this um, 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 tall, um, darker-skinned individual, uh, uh, shaved uh, head and uh, uh, with a bit of a beard, but uh, he's very muscly and such, and uh, has a blacksmith apron uh, and some goggles on uh, on his eyes. And um, as he turns around, he pulls up his uh, uh, glasses and uh, looks towards Morum. Oh, 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 Mora, my friend, and uh, it's this uh, very tall bulk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mora, like the this. son of a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> 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 they did the manly handshake. That's the one. It's exactly. It's <laughs> like exactly. I'm a pencil pusher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so <And> <laughs> they <laughs> just do this uh, bro shake, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, doesn't he tip him because we're more yeah. short <laughs> and like? What race is b- 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 brawl? Uh, brawl. Brown. What race? Hmm? Human. Just a bulky one. Um, and um, yeah, he um, says, Bora, um, where have you been up to? I haven't seen you in quite a few days. You, you missed your hours on the forge. Um, well then, you see, um, <laughs> I've kind of been uh, captured by uh, evil dragonborn. It's a lot of tale, I'll, t- I'll tell you later uh, over a drink, but uh, I'm, I'm fine now. I saved and I you. shall, uh, um, yeah, yeah, oh, um, hello. He's a bit taller and looks down. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. Um, his uh, friends who saved you, yes, yes, um, they did. And um, as such, um, um, I, I owe them a favor and uh, in turn, uh, probably, uh, I'll owe you a favor, it says to Burrell. Uh, but um, 
uh, this fellow here, uh, as he points towards the children, uh, has a piece of um, armor that needs a bit of uh, refitting. Can you help? Oh, but of course, uh, Moran. Um, I just need uh, to finish up this piece, but uh, what what are we? What type of gear are we looking at? I have this uh, splint uh, taken off a of dragonborn. Ah. I was hoping you could help me uh, mm. fix it for uh, my own. Right, 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 right. In exchange, uh, well, I do have this uh, chainmail, and uh, I wouldn't have a uh, further use for it. I mean, I could take it off your hands if you don't need it. I'll smelt it into some other materials and such. But um, yeah, sure. Um, just let me get some uh, measurements here. He wipes some sweat off and goes to the counter, pulls up some uh, rulers, yeah. and um, starts uh, measuring stuff, c um, compares it with the armor, and um, yeah, uh, after that, all right, um, so come back here in um, like three hours or four, and I shall have uh, the armor repaired and uh, in good conditions. Could I also make a request um, for a crest on it? Oh, of course. And um, engravings. I give him a, a, a crude drawing of a, a moon, uh, only half lit, and um, the it's split in half by a sword, mm -hmm. and a cloud um, is covering uh, some of uh, the moon. Very nice, nice. Yeah, um, he, you draw that one, mm. add one extra hour of work on that, and uh, it will be good to go. Oh, children, uh, th that's like a very fancy symbol you got in there. What does it represent? The top of yours, the dark cloud brother, he's that hood, sorry. <laughs> now it's only your uh, Yes, so um, I thought we uh, agreed on prepack symbols, right? Well... I don't know. You were a bit skitterish uh, earlier. I'll have to sleep on it. Oh no, that's no problem. But, uh, I'm interested to know more about the the, the saw that cuts the moon into two pieces. What's up with that? Wh where did you see that before? I didn't. How did you know to describe it? I just thought of it. Right now. Yes. The moon. Uh no the. The, the, the moon and the sword. You just thought it, thought of it right now. Can I roll an insight well, on this? Everybody moon. knows about the moon. Right, and, and the sword, sword that cuts it. Right. I have a sword. It's, you mm. know, it's mm -hmm. just on the middle. It, it doesn't cut the moon. Mm. It's on the middle where it's. The moon is not a piece of cheese. You know? Light and uh, that's a no, maybe you could make the cloud the backward scale and please both sides. No. Oh, it's, no. it's fine. You just put the K underneath it. You can just oh, keep no, describing the symbol of yours. It, it sounds very interesting. Especially that you just invented it right now. I don't want to roll the insight anymore. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I can always add the K later. So yeah. right. This should be sufficient for now. I very much appreciate it. Of course, that of course. looks very I'll fun. I'll see you here um, later on this evening, and you shall have your arm. Yeah. All right. Um, Moram at this point uh, is like, um, also, um, I might uh, stay around the forge for a little bit. Uh, probably help uh, Brel, Brel here with the uh, work. I've been uh, cutting hours, to be honest, on uh, the forge. And uh, I don't want to bring the wrath of um, um, well, Aslin. Aslin. <laughs> Aslin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wrath of Aslin upon me. I was about to say him in total. But yeah. Okay. Um, is Aslin his wife? No. no. Aslin is uh, another of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> so just I know. Like. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> um, and um, yeah. Uh, so um, see you around uh, here. How how long are you gonna stay in town? By the way. We don't have a plan. Oh. And that's the best plan sometimes. Oh. Good. Well, um... We told him about our plan tomorrow? What plan? We, we, we didn't say anything. Okay. 
well, yeah. uh, well, I would like to do some garden tomorrow if I'm accepted. You don't have to come with me. Um, well, um, in this case, um, I guess I'll see you around. Uh, you were staying at the old pub, right? Yeah. Yeah. Old Steed pub. The All right. Old Steed pub, yes. Well, um, Old Steed to fight. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, I'll see you around then. Bye. Have a great time in Gazia. Bye, friend. Thank you, Mora. Bye, Mora. And uh, yeah, he remains at the forge, and uh, yeah. So uh, what do you do? The yes. magic shop. <laughs> the idea. Then you said IKEA. Miracles from IKEA. Miracles from IKEA. Be your own cozy. Miracles from IKEA. 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 So, <coughs> what's next next on the agenda? Miracle shopping. Yeah. What's an okay. agenda? It's this. This thing where you, you wore right things. You know, you. I don't really like to stare at material stuff for too long. It's very boring. So, if we could make it very quick and efficient, yeah. I would enjoy that very much. <laughs> if you want, we can both look at the sky. Okay. Yeah, I can go and try to do my best. I'll give you okay. some money if you want. Please. Money, money is all on how about we, we and also orphans. How about we put it, pull our money together in order to optimize uh, everyone having okay. the best things? So basically, we need healing potions. We can see that. What's okay. the magic I, item? I'll give you okay, yeah. So um, yeah, um, going inside the shop. What do you have special? Of course, that was my plan. You're a very wise person, Sebi. Thank Going you. inside the shop, there are uh, various um, things that uh, display, like uh, there's a... I want to make acquaintances first. Okay. Hello! <laughs> in this case, um, <laughs> in this case, uh, behind the, the counter uh, sits uh, this um, uh, female uh, herringbone. Um, Hello, female that, um, wears um, a very nice... Uh, almost oriental looking uh, blue um, dress that um, it's, it's like sleeveless and such mm -hmm. but uh, it has this uh, almost translucent, translucent uh, linen or silk that uh, uh, covers the rest of uh, her stuff with uh, some dangling uh, belts with jewels and very very nice and uh, very uh, a bit uh, voluptuous looking mm -hmm. <laughs> in terms of body, bo body, uh, body shapes and um, yeah she goes like uh, oh welcome welcome to the miracles of Ithea. Hello, um, nice to meet you. My name is Nice to meet you too. I am a Birona. 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 And she's a heron Heron. Yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah. Um, for the Rona. people at home, Herongon is a uh, rabbit uh, yes, person. Yes, because I forgot, she has a yeah. nice uh, elongated... Uh, it's a rabbit hole. Does she have a watch Is it Birona or Brona? Does she have a watch from it? It's very important. Brona or Birona? Birona. Birona. So, um, we, I am very much interested Too in, tall. in buying some stuff from you. Like maybe a big quantity, so you would um, keep in mind to have maybe a discount for us. Well, discounts are reserved for um, very special clientele and uh, yeah. loyal customers, but maybe yeah, we can I negotiate. Plan become, mm. sorry, I plan to become a very good clientele of yours. Do you? Yes. Mm. I do. Let's see how and what you interested in buying. Okay. Maybe. I would like, first of all, to know if you have any healing potions. Um, of course, yes, we do have those in stock. What kind of healing uh, potions do you have? See. Medium, large, Um, We powerful. have uh, five uh, normal ones and one greater one. Th that joy? Yes, unfortunately. How much for a normal one? 50 gold. And for the greater one? I think it was 500 gold, right? How much gold do we have in no, total? Uh, let me let me just check. Uh, nine hundred plus yeah, like okay. some remnants that we had from before. Um, we I or one hundred and I don't know. Let, let me just double check. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've typed the price for. You can never have too many. One hundred and fifty, right? How much gold uh, we have? 
No, we're not. Say how much. Oh, we know among each other. We know that we have nine hundred gold that we just I got. got we're like, oh, greater healing is one hundred. Yeah, sorry, my bad. What? what Plus so five hundred and. Uh, five hundred is the superior healing, but. So we have no. fifty and one hundred. Yes. If okay. You want to buy all of them. Heal. Uh, so, sorry. And also, do you have any interesting magical special items? Ooh, well, uh, you are in a place called Miracles from my Yeah, but something like very cool. I like, like to, uh, to go on adventures. And imagine that, you know? Just something very cool that will be very mm. useful. Something well, un- unless uh, you don't have one already, we do sell uh, bags of holding. Mm. Mm, that's nice. Um, How much for one? I don't uh, believe in bags of holding. <laughs> it's not a dog. I believe in putting bags of holding inside bags of holding. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm outside, so I <laughs> yeah. just say that to myself. Like, oh my god, bags of holding. Yeah. <laughs> um, one would be 350 gold. Oh. Okay. And do you have anything more interesting, like something super rare that you would Oh. Sell only and show to the special customers like us. Hmm. Well, um, some might consider this an uh, artifact from uh, um, Val here himself created. Though um, between you and me, it's uh, it's just a very well uh, enchanted uh, p- wand. But uh, it's called Val here's Wrath, and uh, she shows you this um, very nice. Uh, um, steel uh, wand that uh, has uh, th- these uh, sort of lightning uh, motifs engraved into it and also a it's almost b- a combination sort of between a staff a, a wand and a scepter as it's quite a bit hefty and has um, a, um, a bluish uh, quite large uh, sapphire cr- uh, crystal on top and um, it's very cool. Well, give it away. It's um, it's what? Uh, give it away. It's Valhir's wrath, but uh, it's basically sort of a uh, wand of lightning bolts to invoke his powers. Mm-hmm. And uh, boy, how much? This one uh, goes for six thousand gold. Six thousand? Oh, yes. yes. Thousand. Thousand. Yes. For some. Okay, can you keep that for later, maybe? Uh, of course. With a CP sticker on it, or go about them, like. How about some magical weapons? Mm. Um, well, other than that, um, I only have um, a um, blessed shield of Aslin in here, and uh, you see this uh, very sturdy-looking uh, shield that uh, it's. Uh, this um, almost um, um, brass looking shield I mean it has that copper coloration to it though uh, it's very sturdy like the um, weight and the thickness of the material it's quite strong and it has uh, it has Aslin's symbol on it a hammer on it and um, um, this one uh, goes for 500 gold a fair price, but uh, I'm afraid I don't use shields. And um, what about you Raven? I'm outside, I'm not even You could also ask, uh, probably, at the blacksmith, uh, the spirit uh, anvil. Um, they could modify or create uh, magic items. Oh. Why but uh, not items, more like uh, weapons and arms. Could we say that before we got in, I would have said to the group that I want a Let's Banana say, bread. Uh, um, <laughs> a bag which has two metal sticks in it and one hammer. Two metal sticks? Uh, like, uh, not sticks. Uh, Pipe. Pipes. Pipes. Stakes. Stakes. Okay. Metallic. Mm-hmm. Very important. And a sturdy hammer. Do you have any metallic sticks and maybe a hammer? <laughs> no. I mean, those you could find at. Uh, the market or the, the sort okay. of common items. But, um, okay, so quick plan and quick gathering. If we buy the five healing potions, the five he- greater healing potions and the bag of holding it's a total of 650 gold. Should we buy it? Oh, I, I have one question. Uh, you know one of them cloaks that makes your noggin harder to, to be it in the head? 
and uh, it, it, it makes you know, like you would have armor, but you only have the cloak. A helmet? Oh. <laughs> the one that oh, you yeah. used to protect. I have I do know of, of uh, such uh, blessed items. Hmm? What do you say? We had a cloak of Zarus, which uh, unfortunately we sold uh, but, uh, a few days ago. Um, I believe, um, as we speak, uh, clerics uh, are working on enchanting more of them, but uh, it might take a few days until I get some new ones. How much does one of them cost? Uh, those would come at, uh, if I remember correctly, 700 gold. One. So, what about buying all this stuff? Oh, are we sure we need so many potions? Yes. Don't are you sure you don't want to die? Well, I was just saying, there's quite a few potions within them. Yeah, but do they go still? Do they have an expiration date? No. See? Um, do you know who, to whom he sold the cloak? What's yes. wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> to whom, uh, oh, the cloak? Um, just to other... Uh, Maybe we can negotiate with them, if you're impatient. Oh, well, I was not really, well, wanting to spend that much on myself, but... If we have some extra gold, uh, I wouldn't mind. I'm kind of squishy and la during the last encounter, uh, I barely managed to blow that other head guy's head off before he did the same to me. But... How many potions do you have? You have one, and he, he has. We have the one, because you used one, correct? We have the one. You have just one potion. No, no, no. not even that. No, I, 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 we have both of them. I can heal myself. I don't know what. Look at me. I can heal. <laughs> Who uses a uh, shield no besides one. me? No okay. one. Oh, didn't Draven have a shield? I have one, and I think Draven. And I never use it. Ah, so. oh, okay. Okay, so oh, you come on. Okay, let even if we buy the six potions, it's one for each, not even. I know it's almost. Let's go for the potions, and if we have more gold to spare, let's go to all the potions and distribute them. Them not necessarily equally, but amongst yeah. who is the most squishy. Exactly, and to get a bag of holding, we will still have money, like two hundred and fifty golds left. Okay. 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 So one bag of holding, three fifty, and then five. five with normal. Uh, two fifty. Two fifty. So what? that's six hundred. Six hundred and fifty total. Yeah, I yeah. just said that. 300, 100, and 250. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we spend 650 divided by 7. 100 and. Let's, I, I have the calculator here. How much did we have initially? Because I kept. Uh, I think Wait, I had 3 and 10? 15 something? Mm -hmm. 350 mm -hmm. with. We had 900 or something. So 650 each, each. divided by it's 7. Uh, written it's 92.85. Let's say everyone yeah. removes 93 gold. Okay. And we have this. Just wait, for fastness. Wait, wait, wait. Are you willing to negotiate a bit because we spend so much gold in your shop? It's a lot of gold. 650. Persuasion. And let's not forget that uh, we will be return customers because we hang around here. You might know me. You know, the paladins harass me all the time. I'm putting up posters. So, you know, we'll be here around a long time. I want to help her persuasion. Okay, yeah. Okay, the helping. So it's uh, 16. Okay. Hmm. Uh, normally I don't uh, do this. Negotiate um, with terrorists. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I make the puppy eyed. Um, A point what, what, what will help is that. Uh, Okay, I'll cut 50 gold off the order, and you promise not to put more posters up on uh, the with the walls yeah. again. Go back so, to it. So it's to go back. You can put posters on. in my house, in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's our room. <laughs> oh, how about I don't so put posters on your shop? Well, that's what I said. Like not oh, on the shop? Uh, yeah, like. Point. Siltrin, I don't have any money, you pay it. Yes. 
and uh, you have one. I'll hold you to your word that uh, you'll be back and uh, don't forget like um, I always get uh, new stuff uh, 86 gold each, uh, for each week okay. I got super anxious because I thought you were ending the episode and I was like no <laughs> that was the door show so 86 minus 86 no 80 you just remove 86 gold okay. from everyone so that's where I'm Alex from Alex as well I'm gonna write okay. we're talking about the silo of course yeah the one that is in mourning. Yes, she is mourning. In the temple. She is the mourning person. <laughs> so, uh, one uh, healing portion to each. Yeah. Let's uh, right. have someone r- ride them all. Wait, no, we can just can ride. put them in our inventory. Then right who now. needs the greater healing potion? Who has it? Well, How I stay in the have? front. Five? Five? Five. five each. No, it's just five and another one of uh, greater. Yeah, and it will be five plus one, two. It's one each and another one that is greater healing. That should be someone. Maybe someone that's in the front line. Who is um, tanking? I, I would say actually I would say Sheldon. Sheldon. Okay, so Sheldon, you you add it. And, and, and who adds the bag of holding as well? You? Okay, yeah. you take it. So each has. Uh, I, are you it. sure you don't want me to take it? It's just because I'm quicker to run away from stuff <laughs> and keep the, the things intact. That's why I'm asking. Um, <laughs> okay, sure. sure. I mean, I, I don't. I know I don't have a lot Put of HP, you. but I have a lot of uh, means of escape. Put it on you, Goba. No, you can. <laughs> if you want to do it, just go for it. I like to keep track of things. So. Then you take. It. Yeah, boy. You, you take it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Potion. So normal healing, yeah. Yeah. So each of us has one normal healing, and uh, that's it. Shelly has, but you said five. Where we have two from the loot uh, from the Dragonborn okay. camp. Okay. Um, I would also like to ask uh, uh, Verona. Yeah, that's Verona. Right. Um, about uh, maybe she can uh, give us a uh, mo- little bit more insight about those two blue potions that we found. Uh, oh. I would show them to her. Sure. And I, will, I, will, I, will, I, I have to go to the ladies' room. Can you point me towards the direction? Oh, but of course. Okay, so thank you. Bye. Right nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Sippy. Nice, nice, nice. GG, inspiration. Inventory. Uh, oh shit. Sorry, I was looking for stuff. But yeah, okay. Um, so you show them that? Okay. She, as soon as you show that to her, she. Uh, like, her eyes widen and <coughs> it's like. Where, where did you find this? We looted them from uh, some uh, Dragonborns. Uh, well, they did some pretty evil stuff. Uh, you may have heard about uh, Sister uh, Liatra. Mm, not sure. Or actually, I think I saw some posters, but like this. You should. As she gets close. You should really be careful who you show this to or what do you do with it. It's, this is refined Vaglithi we have here. Um, I don't want to put my hand. Okay. What does it do? It has many uses though. Again, um, I mean, I understand it comes from uh, the Dragon Balls. I'm, I don't understand how they got their hands on in the first place, but um, this is very rare. It's refined from the lithium ores that um, are uh, mined, but they're very strictly um, contained, not contained, uh, distributed, like the... Um, the policy of distribution uh, is yes, very... Yes, very... <laughs> thank you for it. But, uh, yes, yeah, so it's, it's quite uh, um, watched uh, sort of uh, substance, like it's very well uh, guard, guarded and uh, in very small uh, containers. Uh, they are um, used either by the Nobilities in uh, in Alequinja or the no no prayer techno- technocracy uses to power their uh, grandiose uh, machineries. 
Um, what happens if you drink it? <laughs> Asking the real questions. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah, as I said, in Alequenja, the nobility use this refined substance to inhale it into their system and uh, it seems to give them a sort of a boost in their uh, reflexes and everything and uh, in enhances their uh, orga powers and uh, both psychic and physical but um, for a like this is a small amount they use larger amounts but even this it's very potent and uh, Again, very rare. Um, I don't want it on my hands because you should be careful who you show it to. Uh, I appreciate it. I, I won't tell anyone, but um, yes, uh, be careful with it. How much would you give us for one? Um, As I said, I don't want any trouble. But theoretically, uh, if someone were to purchase it, I mean, yeah, you might need to find the seller for those, but uh, this is just a small capsule um, that I've seen, but um, even this would probably go for, I don't know, uh, 300 or 400 gold. Okay, so... Um, Are you interested in buying? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's also like a super powering uh, up a potion, right? I mean, um, again, I do not know exactly all the details. Um, I can tell you only from what I've heard. And hmm. Well, we know someone who would like to try it oh. at some point. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm not that interested, but in the name of science... <laughs> We appreciate uh, the information you've given us. We'll give it uh, some thought. We'll see. Mm. As you put it back, like Goba just is going to watch it. It also has quite a <laughs> lot of unknown properties. It's 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 still being uh, researched and developed by the guy, the people at the um, Institute of Arcane Developments. It's uh, the ones who are making the explosions. The, the ones oh well, they the made explosion I mean probably I have heard in a very great distance an explosion <laughs> carried by the wind <laughs> it was a whisper carried by the wind I, I have uh, two more questions uh, first uh, if we order that uh, cloak of noggin protection that you s that we we spoke about do we also have to buy it when it arrives I yeah that's how it works right <laughs> but you would just have, have it in your inventory. You could sell it to someone else. It's gonna sell. It is gonna sell. Not gonna lie. But uh, um, if you wish, um, I could uh, hold one for you. Roy, uh, how about you hold hold one of those for us? And my second question is: uh, Do you also sell spell scrolls of any sort? Uh, not really. But I have a few friends I can talk to and uh, import here. Uh, do you know that spell where you just wave your hand a bit and uh, uh, the light of the gods just shines on the other creature and it uh, it gets healed for a small amount? It's a uh, uh, healing uh, preposition, uh, healing phrase. It, it, it was something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I think I'll. Um, healing sentence. That was yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Healing letters. Are you I looking will, for uh, some word in particular? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but th that's the one! Healing word! Oh, oh I thought it was particular. <laughs> healing particular. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will uh, ask around and uh, when you come back uh, in, come in two days, I'll have uh, the Can rest Can you have like a bunch of them? Mm, sure. I mean, depends because it's. I don't make them. I just uh, distribute them. Okay. And uh, I need to talk with um, the clerics and the mages who. Sure. I have complete faith in you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. Great. Anything else you might be interested in? We have extracts from uh, Zeno's uh, scriptures. Whisper, no, whisper. That, how about you show the lair? 
Whisper. Which I, can, I can give that you some. The burnt sentences. one. The letter. Oh, yeah. All right, the letter. Do you know of a um, really point Haley and whatever? Do you know Draconic? Hmm? No. Um. Actually, what she meant to ask you is how old is this letter? Oh. Right, that one. That one. Oh. I forgot. The binge. <laughs> I'll say uh, I I am quite um, proficient with the calligraphy, so uh, I could take a look if you wish. Yes, please. Uh, free of charge, of course. She takes a look. I will oh, roll you for her. Man, you're so nice. I will roll for her. Let's see. Oh, uh, the secret to that is uh, you don't have to read the burned out part, and uh, you, you have to understand it's a letter that has been dried a bit by yeah. fire. I want to help, help help her with some obvious tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, give her, try to give her advantage. That way. I don't know if it works. Uh, I have found a lucky stone on a dead body. Uh, maybe if you hold it. And I give her, her my lucky stone. Uh, but I think they have attunement? to be attunement, yes. Attunement, oh. yes. Attunement, but yeah. my character does not know that. Yeah. I mean, uh, depends on how urgent you need this, because at first glance I, I can't manage to see um, exactly what this is. But after hours I could uh, go and um, grab my uh, other tools and uh, give it a proper look. Um, what time are you gonna do it? I'll be up, up all, all night doing some uh, religious research. I can come back later. This is how you call it nowadays, yeah? Yes. <laughs> you need something for your knees. It starts well, at a certain point. I mean, <laughs> like a knee cushion. I'm praying. I'm praying oh, on your this knees. Really urgent. Can't we? Come back it's tomorrow. pretty urgent. It, it's just uh, you know the sec whole security of Gaza is at stake. If you if you would say that that is urgent, we roll a uh, persuasion check. I would like to add. It's a fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Okay, that's good. Um. Um. Fine. Uh, after I finish uh, hours here, I'll go back um, to my place and. Um, Come open a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, come come around uh, 10, 11 p.m. and oh. uh, and she will give you there. So it's at, it, it's in the upper halls of Gazia. First one on left. Right. <laughs> oh, <you're> right. <laughs> like, <laughs> first one on left. If you also <laughs> think that uh, the the whole security of Gazia is at stake, I'll come by and and uh, see your research then. Thank you. Lucky stone back. Yes. I'm the things. Yes. Um, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. It was nice meeting you. See you soon. See you soon. So we have done everything on the list mm -hmm. of the CPS. I. Well, I not still, really. I still have written. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we would uh, be able to do that before uh, coming back for the results. Uh, to, to meet with the priests of uh, right, Yrix. Yrix. right now, uh, after uh, all you've done, it will probably be afternoon, like two in the evening, sort Let's of. Let's ju just go and hang out a few hours in the park or something very nice, and then come back. Yep. Uh, but um, um, we, uh, I don't know how early it uh, becomes nightfall. The nightfall comes here, so. Oh. Um, it would be around 5 p.m. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so uh, what season is it? The it's uh, autumn. Ah, okay. Makes sense. We would meet the priests uh, before we see the results of the letter. Oh, we can go. Uh, we can go even like late in the night. Just we we meet the priests and then go for the result because they are not really related. And we do know that it has to be like dead of night, not just uh, in the dead of the night. Okay. So it's um, you go hang out until the uh, fast forward to dusk. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say we play ball with the wind world. <laughs> I mean, there is there are the elated the gardens. Also, we Was haven't that eaten supper yet. We missed for the for the meal. Sildren said something before you. Yeah. Talked about meals. 
Chubby children, <laughs> you know me and my big mouth. <laughs> no problem. Um, <laughs> so you said something about the library that you also want to. Would you like to uh, try the normal libraries as well? Or me? Uh, or it was me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was looking good. So. <laughs> I don't like in particular libraries unless you want to. No, okay, I don't. Okay, let's. But I look for posters regarding one book in particular. <laughs> one what? You know the one. One what? Kay. Because I want to see if some individuals are in the city. One what in particular? Okay. Posters for what? Doesn't book. matter. Yeah. Uh, why we are hanging in the park and assume let's go to a picnic? It's gonna be very yes, nice. Yes, we go to a picnic and have a picnic in the. We park. can buy apples from there and cheese from there and a caru baguette mm -hmm. from there. Do you think we'll find biscuits? I have biscuits from last night. Well, um, I want to listen for draconic anything talked in draconic. Oh, okay. We can find like with the passive perception. Or I don't yeah, know, I whatever if you want. That's very neat. Okay. Um, and well. Play ball with, with. And after no, I want to talk to Drake. No uh, draconic. Unfortunately, as you're just uh, eavesdropping. Is <laughs> yeah. Um, huh? yeah. I'm sure. Double sure. People um, Check again. going uh, around with their day. But, um, so, basically you want to go to the library to check for the book? No, 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 I want to look for posters in the city. Oh! To see uh, if yeah. one person in particular is here. No. Then no. I'm fine. I don't need to roll nothing. Um, and uh, the rest of you? Uh, you just wait. Now we for, wait, uh, we eat, I, I we want play. to have a short conversation with Draven. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Draven, sir, uh, I've noticed that, uh, You've requested from the blacksmith shop uh, an hammer and two uh, metal spikes. Okay. What is that for? Well, um, how can I put this lightly? Pinning you down. <laughs> <laughs> when I get my hands on some individuals... Or is this individual present right here in the no, party? No. Oh, are you sure? You can incite me. I'm Do not, not meta it, guys. Yeah, no. Yeah. no, it's no one from this group. But when I get my hands on that person, mm. I want to make sure that they suffer without dying. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I need some information. And uh, what about the spell that you said that uh, it needs to trap someone in a oh, cavern so that they don't go out? That's simply a countermeasure in something like that. What do you mean goes wrong? What's the plan? With the spell? Right, uh, the spell, the, the, the metal bars, all of the weird things that uh, the, the person that was found out trying to, 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 to stab another one. Well, the spell is for someone it's really okay. bad who might come out sometime. And yeah, the metal stakes are for <coughs> the kebab the people I hunt I squint the eye towards you like really really hard <laughs> right <laughs> well, that makes sense doesn't it also don't listen to the learning from the temple Kripak is good mm -hmm. that Stand just up. sounds like you, you're trying to appease me with a uh, topic I like. Does it work? <laughs> yes. <laughs> then it's... Oh, 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 it's good! Oh no, damn it! <laughs> oh man. It wasn't me, it was him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I agree, but I have no feelings. <laughs> I felt that was... That was <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'm gonna back off before we uh, hurt yourself even more. Uh, can I go and buy some sticks and ham and they Sure, have sure. Like you'll uh, find them at how much? For two metal sticks and a hammer. Uh, and they bag like uh, yeah, two silver. Mm. Okay. And that's it. Do we have a tissue? 
in real life? In real life. I can. Uh, but if you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. <laughs> so. So. Catch a well, bro. Yo. With <laughs> gust. <laughs> yeah, you you you're you're having a fight to me. Um, yes, sir. You're not now. Later. And for a second, yeah. <laughs> when Wendwell like goes and tries to catch the ball, you see like a, a little glitch, like a faint shift in the airs. And for a second, the sh the shape of the great wolf dissipates, and it it has wings. And then it's again a wolf, and then like a, a very faint shift. <laughs> okay, and um, yeah, the thing is like you, yeah, you have a big. Blue wolf, like in, you're now at the Garden Nobulation. You said having a picnic, and it's quite nice because there are all sorts of uh, artists who practice their their craft, either painting or, or sculpting, sculpting, and uh, some play uh, the lute and whatnot. And um, yeah, like for now, also like seeing you, a strange individual, like people tend to leave you to your area. You're quite having your own space there. And um, yeah, um, so we move on to the night. Night. The night. night. Unless okay. you guys want to talk. I wanted to talk to Draven, but he said not now. <laughs> so no. Okay. Then what, uh, can we what we can talk about, not about that thing. Now I don't now. know what you want to talk about. So what the hell? <laughs> okay. I'm confused. Uh, so the oh, confused. I'm confused. Yes. I know how to use articles, guys. I'm not stupid. So, um, <laughs> in this case, yeah, I'm just uh, a baby. <laughs> it's uh, it's getting around uh, six p.m. and um, yeah, um, where do you go? So it's night. To, yeah, you're you're going towards the Temple of Virtue again. To yeah, Temple of Virtue, section of Eryx. Eryx. Okay. okay, so um, <laughs> you yeah. you arrive there. And uh, yeah, uh, again, there are uh, some folks in there uh, that um, have uh, um, like the silvery robes with the star shaped on it. Some are in the prost prostrate uh, uh, position. Others uh, have uh, these silvery white candles that hold them and uh, chant uh, a hymn. And it seems to be towards Zurich as you. Here, well, uh, Eurex, uh, <laughs> and such. But what did? But first of all, uh, my staff is glowing a weird, uh, pale, uh, light bluish light in, in the evening. Hmm. That's that's weird to see as the sun sets down. And uh, I go to the followers of Eurex and hey, yo, m might I have your attention a bit? Um, <coughs> it uh, it immediately like uh, like. They're deep into praying and such, but uh, one um, would uh, a, a halfling. Just give me a second here to find what his name is. Uh, yeah, a, a halfling would uh, approach you and uh, saying, um, "Hello there. Why are you disturbing uh, the prayers to Erix?" Well, if anything, I'm contributing contributing it. Contributing. Contributing. Contributing to it. Um, He's so British, he forgot the thing. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, my name is Goba. I am a, 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 priest, uh, a priest of uh, Eryx. And I wink and I do the, the air quotes. Um, I, I, I'm here to, to learn about uh, uh, Eryx a bit more. I also am uh, one of the, the followers of Eryx. <laughs> Well, if you this wish is painful to, to watch. <laughs> become uh, indoctrinated and uh, receive her uh, blessings and uh, powers. Um, know that uh, this is uh, that this is not how we do it. You don't openly come. It's uh, a matter of uh, secrecy, more like. Um, oh, right, right. Uh, like usually. There would be a way you receive uh, her gifts, and uh, if you have so, then um, we need to see a uh, sort of demonstration of the gift. <coughs> Do the oh. sparkles! Oh, right, uh, 
uh, I am about to, to, to do that. And I step back. It's your and, moment uh, to shine. Hmm? It's your moment your to shine. To shine. I, I do this with, with my hands and stuff. And uh, in front appears uh, another uh, Goba, which is like a starry co like constellation wise. Another uh, <laughs> Goba that is, uh, is he's <laughs> just sparkly and uh, yeah. he has like a, a thumbs up motion. And uh, I cast spiritual weapon to create a like a, a copy okay. of myself that nice, nice. just does that. Does that? <laughs> okay. And he's all sparkly and uh, shiny in the <laughs> night. <laughs> Which uh, yeah, at that point, like uh, also uh, without you realizing, after you finish this cast and uh, this shiny version of Goba uh, appears, um, you also have this uh, a bit of a shine on on yourself. Uh, that's uh, sort of uh, this white, very white. That uh, sort of represents the stars. And uh, as you do that, uh, like all of uh, the priests uh, look uh, amazed. Uh, and uh, oh, or you're not entertained. <laughs> he, he must have I the can't. gift. Um, okay, then I believe um, we, you are a chosen of Eric's. How, what do you wish to know of her? What is it uh, that you seek, brother? All I seek is uh, some basic information about Eryx. Uh, what she does, how she does it, um, what are her goals, uh, or is everything just sparkly well, in this order? <laughs> so, well, who, who is she? Uh, oh, and uh, also, uh, I want to know if you also know her by the name of Krepak. That... no. Um, like, Eryx and Krepak are two different entities, I'm afraid. But um, the Starry Mistress, uh, her, um, her domains are uh, uh, secrets, uh, darkness, concealment, cosmology and divination. Some um, um, use her powers to, as one might think, for a greater good, even though um, others don't see it quite as such. And um, there are some other harsh, um, more harsh trainings, so to say, to invoke her powers, but. Uh, those um, are not for the acolytes. Uh, are we all here? Yeah. Yes, but uh, like when um, uh, after you show uh, her uh, Eryx's powers, uh, the priest like <coughs> takes you a bit more uh, to a side and kind of whispers to you, not openly. So. Do I um, hear the whispers? <laughs> you probably would. <laughs> I am the whisper. I am whispering back. <laughs> And um, what else do you wish to know? Who are her enemies? Well, mm, she doesn't have one. She leaves, uh, I mean, all of the gods live peacefully atop of uh, Aithea. And um, no, from what they've uh, said so far in uh, when they've revealed their form, all of the... Um, all of the uh, gods of the pantheon they've assured us the place is sanctified and that the tempest fence uh, keeps the evil at bay so oh all right uh, one more very very important question are we absolutely super duper a hundred percent sure He's not Krepak. I have not known. You are the first, in my experience, the first goblin I've uh, I've known that um, um, fo it's a follower of Eryx. And uh, no, I mean Krepak. It's I'm sorry. It's just a goblin thing. Curses. That's racist. 
Right, well, uh, I'll keep in touch. It seems like something is definitely bothering you, but uh, uh, if anything, uh, you are welcome to stay more and uh, um, join us in the prayers. Maybe you'll find your uh, solace <coughs> in uh, the meditation process. Well, I'm more of a, a go and do stuff kind of goblin. Uh, uh, thank you for all of your help of information. Uh, if there's anything else, I'll, I'll just send a letter. Or come visit you right. during the night. It was nice meeting you, Brother right. Goba. Chris, I, I, I mean, Eric's be with you. <laughs> so oh, there. one more thing! <laughs> since since we're, it's just uh, us, right? Yeah. What do you know of a, of a sister named uh, <laughs> Lizim? Listen. Listen. Yeah. He looks confused at you. No. You don't say, so there's no mention of any sister of, uh, of Eryx. Sister of Eryx? Uh, we do not know Eryx has a sister. Um. Sister of Eryx. Just uh, like a, a, a player to the end moment. She did say her sister, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm not wrong as a no, player. No, no, no. You're, 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 you're correct. You're no. correct. We heard it. We yeah. heard it. Oh, Roy, uh, <laughs> neither do I. I was just testing your own knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I have a nice, uh, nice ritual. Uh, all right. And, uh, Yes. You know, if any of my companions want to ask any more questions, you, you should know that they is pretty okay as people. I'm the pretty dressed uh. the okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I just what come the? back and... Uh, like, you see that Papa is holding on like some, some tears as he's going away from the priests. Oh, you are the upset, I know. I have heard oh. of this feeling. You're the upset. You're the one crying. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I have cried once. Jacob just just gets away and starts running <laughs> from the temple. See, what? Should I run after him? I don't know. Can I have small feet. No, for sure. So, so where to next? I would uh, try to talk to the priestess. Okay. Uh, if uh, she responds. Um, uh, Sintrin would say, I understand there are some secrets about the moon. Maybe you could share some with me. Like, um, uh, there is, a uh, <laughs> there is some dispute about which god, uh, uses the moon. Yes, we believed up until the fall of Keneka that, uh, um, Eryx was responsible for Cyrilla, but we we are not uh, we are not sure since uh, if she indeed was, she could have probably prevented uh, the blood moon from happening in the first place. If I were to pursue um, answers to these questions further, would you suggest I take a certain path? <laughs> I mean, a path of piety would uh, grant you access into our temples and then hopefully to the halls of study, but I, I do not know where you can go. I appreciate uh, your time. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Back to the tavern. To, no, not to the tavern, to the... Um, oh, to the shop. Yep. To yeah. the um, wonders of IT. Yeah, yeah. Man. To where Miracles. Uh, Verona lives. Miracles of No, IT. no, for... Yeah. The home, the home of uh, Brown yeah. in the... Uh, uh, Brian, Verona. Uh, yeah. Verona. Um, to the left. So... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so as you enter back into the next day, no. she said like the next day. Yeah. Yeah. It convinced yeah. her to in this, oh. this night because yes. it's important and blah. Okay, uh, yes. and because uh, it's getting quite late to speed things up, I'll say that uh, you find her at home. She hands you the letter, and after a certain uh, um, investigation she has done, she, uh, it looks like um, uh, the letter seemed to have been. Um, written uh, uh, 
They call it the count previous. better for a reason. <laughs> two days previous uh, to the... So, so in so theory, we should have five yeah. days in for before mm, this happens. Six. This is. We'll the see. Six. You make the six. calculations, so tomorrow and yeah, we'll pick up next no. week after you do the calculations. No. And yeah, it's getting quite late. I'm sorry. So let's do yeah. something. So yeah. So the dice seem to have been cast for tonight, but, but a quick yeah. A fun quick fact. fun fact from the architect. So if you're an <laughs> uh, enthusiast of architecture, such as me. Uh, I recommend you to visit something very cool in our country. It's called the Black Church of Brasov, and it's the biggest Gothic church between Vienna and Istanbul, so from Eastern Europe. And it's very cool and very neat, and the walls are all black because of a fire that uh, took place uh, like in the 17th century. <laughs> so, <laughs> Quite ooh, nice you should see that. Yeah. Yeah. It's very so nice. Thank you guys yeah, for watching. Thanks, well, yeah, th thanks so much for See watching. See you next time. See you next week and happy 2023. Yeah. Yeah.